Hey! Hello. I just went to go like fix my phantom glasses, but everyone I everyone fix your glasses, whether you have them or not. Hey everyone! Hello everyone, <laughs> welcome! Hey, how's everyone doing? Thank you for joining us today. This is gonna be the finale of Stray Gods, yeah. which is a game we started two weeks ago. It's recently released on all platforms. Uh-huh. It's a role-playing branching narrative musical. musical. A murder mystery. Yep. About Greek mythology? Yep. I'm in. I know. Sign me up. Kicks all the boxes. I like that. Kicks all the boxes. I'm going to love that for myself. Um, How's everybody we're doing? We're also doing like an early stream today because we're going to be finishing it. Right now we're in the middle of act two mm -hmm. and there's three acts total. Um, it's going to be so a special extended stream today. Extended. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, you absolutely fell in love with this game, LJ. Good, I'm glad. I'm very I'm glad curious, to hear that. Has anybody else been playing it on their own? Anyone having their own experience? Because this is a branching narrative, there's many different paths that you can take. So um, there were three main traits that right. we could choose from for our main character. There's kick-ass, there is charismatic, and there is... Uh, clever. Clever. And so we picked clever. And uh, it's been it's been fun so far. Um, oh yes, the new sticker, the new sticker. Vex the Beck says yes. New sticker, excited. It's true. New mm -hmm. sticker, who this? Ooh, big shout out. Successful! Uh, exclamation point, Eliza in the chat. We'll take you to Eliza France uh, art card. This is the artist we have collaborated with. Uh, for this mission successful sticker. And the idea for this sticker comes from uh, our Good Mammal streams. We've been talking about how important it is to celebrate our wins. Big and small. Big and small. So if we are living that life where we are in a video game, it gives us that nice pop-up. Yeah, we completed the mission, right? The <laughs> yeah. quest is complete. So we hope that this sticker will help remind you uh, to, uh, to to take a little moment and celebrate your victories, team. Yeah. A big thank you to everybody who's already been ordering some. They are available on DeckArtGames.com. And we have our uh, our little fancy uh, bonus prize thing. When we cross over 40 gifted prizes on any given stream, everybody will win a bonus sticker, one of our legacy stickers. So if you missed out on the Theo Puff, for instance, maybe that will uh, come your way. Yeah. So we should start um, off by thanking a friend named Pardon My Appearance who says, yay, new beautiful sticker. Yay! Beautiful job, Eliza. So if you'd like to win, how does that work, Amelia? How do they enter in? All right, all you gotta do is type into the chat. Um, anything at all, our subscribers get five times entry. And if you gave a gifted sub like Cosmic Georgie to Raised Village, then you're entered in 10 times. And also, if you already won a sticker from the past, you are newly el eligible. Because each time we have a new sticker, everybody is eligible again. Yes, so, so all are welcome. Uh huh. And then our winners will be sent a whisper from us with instructions on on how to claim your prize and make sure that you put in your full correct address so that your mission successful can successfully make it to you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please indeed. Uh -huh. Thank you everybody for being here and typing in the chat. I see a bunch of awesome people right now. Where is my and friend let happiness? me pull a winner from these folks here. I it's right here. Oh, okay. Can't give away a prize without my hedgehog happiness. No, you wouldn't make any sense. No. <laughs> that wouldn't make any sense at all. Yes. Thank, thank you, everybody, for joining. I really appreciate you all being here and spending some time with us today. Uh, we are very, very excited to be completing Stray Gods. I think you'll all like it, and we'll catch you up to speed with a little game recap in just a moment. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got the, the recap. The winner is Ransom Note 1986. Congratulations, Congratulations. Ransom Note. And thank you again to Pardon My Appearance for gifting that prize. If you'd like more info on them, exclamation point gift prizes in the chat will get you to deckartgames.com where you can order them for yourselves or gift them as a prize on the stream. And I'll check in with that throughout the stream today and uh, make sure we get all those all those stickers out to the people of the town. Nunu VMAX, welcome back for 14 months. Thank welcome you so back. much for your support. And Wablu, this Wablu, Wablu is back for 61 months. Welcome back, Wablu. Welcome back, Wablu. Thank you for your good vibes. Let's Yay. say thanks to our whole mod team. Moderators, thank you. Thank you so much for Lieutenants, we appreciate you muchly. Muchly. Um, and we should also mention, uh, I have a special message here, but it's not the the... The video is not coming to me. Uh, I have a special, a literal message, but I, I can't get it to send to me. So uh, I'll tell you the old fashioned way. The old fashioned way. What are we doing next weekend, Amelia? Okay. Next weekend is super exciting because we're going to have a special 
concert stream with our friend Lo the Music Man, who makes all of the music you hear on this channel. He has just released a brand new album, his first full album, and we're going to be celebrating and listening to the whole thing next Friday. So come and join us. He will be here to bring his good vibes. If you have not yet met Logan, you are in for a treat. He will make you smile and he will make you feel good. He is the uh, human epitome of good vibes. Yes, yes. Indeed. And, and also, next Saturday, we are going to begin playing Control because tomorrow... We are completing Alan Wake Remastered. So you all voted for Control to be our next Saturday game. So we're going to continue the Remedy Games uh, streak. And then on Sundays, we've just started Uncharted Drake's Fortune, the first game. And it is quite hilarious. So uh, come and join us for that if you want some good, good giggles. Um, and then on Tuesday, we're going to be doing our Good Mammal stream talking about building self-esteem. I'm stoked. Yeah. I'm all, I'm all about it. I, I do have, it looks like I might, I might have successfully gathered this video. Mission it's from, successful. it's from Logan and he made it special for you all. So I want you to get to see, and then we'll jump into the game. Uh, but a big thank you to everybody who retweeted to invite your friends. I know we're doing a, an early stream today, so it's extra helpful if you can help us get the word out by retweeting. Yeah. And uh, let me see if I can't find this this video KSC somewhere. KSC 51, welcome back for three months. Neon Rain is back for 59 months. My goodness. Thanks for your support, Neon. Thank you, Neon. I see Blue Bunny 20 is here for 13 months. And Pastels, welcome back for six months. Grace Kami, welcome back for a whole year. Thank you, friends. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank Toshter, thank you for the big cheers. Cosmic Georgie's back for 38 months. And Recluse, Welcome back for three. Uh, here's a little message from Lo. I'm going to drag and drop it. Headphone warning, because I have no idea what happens when I'm just going to drop a thing in here. Headphone so if you're, warning. If you're listening real intently and you're doing this, don't just, just in case. Okay. Here we go. What's up, Deck Art Games community? It's your friend Lo here. You may know me as Logan or Lo the Music Man. But either way, I make a lot of the music that you hear on Brian and Amelia's Twitch channel. And I have some exciting news to share with you all. I just dropped my first full-length musical album. It's out right now pretty much anywhere you can stream music. And that's exciting by itself, but I think we should kick it up a notch. So, we are going to have a concert stream on Brian and Amelia's channel on Friday, August 25th at 12 p.m. Southern California time, whatever that means for you. And we'll listen through the album together. We will dance. We will share in the emotion and the excitement. And I'm really looking forward to it. So I hope to see you there. And I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Oh, no. Well, you'll get more of Lo on next Friday's stream. Yeah. Lo, Lo is a lovely human being. He'll be right here with us in the room, and we're going to listen to his whole new album. It is available right now on his SoundCloud if you want to check it out. Mm -hmm. Exclamation point L-O in the chat will take you to the spot. Yeah. And uh, please, please let us know what are your very favorites of his. But we're going to listen to the whole album together mm -hmm. and hang out next Tuesday. That's keep the, be so Keep good. the musical vibes going. Yeah. Um, the Lismic, welcome back for seven, uh, for four, four months, months, but soon to be seven, I'm sure. <laughs> and uh, Kitty BP, welcome back for 14 months. Thank welcome you, thank back. you, thank you. Uh, I appreciate you for joining Love us. Love is awesome, yes. Um, Amelia. Brian. Stray Gods is awesome. Yes. But some folks might be just joining in the middle. So can you hit them with the game recap and let them know, like, why Stray Gods is so awesome? Like, who are we? What's happening? All right. So Stray Gods is a super cool game. It is a branching narrative role-playing musical game. And we play as Grace, who is a wonderful singer. And in the very beginning of the game, uh, she met a young lady named Calliope who came in and they had a beautiful duet together. And then moments later, uh, Calliope is murdered and she has this like little golden ball that floats above her and it goes into Grace. And then all of a sudden, Hermes opens up the door and uh, Grace discovers that she is now 
a god. She's uh, basically inherited the eidolon or the soul of this idol or previous uh, muse, muse because, of Greek mythology. Because the Greek gods are real and they are living amongst everyone in the city. But because of the way Calliope died, everyone now thinks that Grace might be her murderer. So we have to solve a murder mystery of who could possibly have murdered Calliope and why? And so we've been on a, uh, a, a an investigation, a hunt, trying to find out what happened. And so we've gotten to meet a whole bunch of really cool characters. Let's do a little speed run. I'll say their name and you give us the, the two the, the word uh, description. Okay. So Calliope was... The muse of music and inspiration. Yes. Murdered. But then we found this chorus who came upon us, and these are the uh, gods of Greek mythology that include Athena. The one, the mother god. No. Mother god. Mom Abs god. Absolutely not true. Top god. She, uh, no, wrong. Lady god. She's kind of running the show now, but mom she's god. the goddess of wisdom, wisdom okay? Mom right? God. She's not the mom god <laughs> at all. I mean, she's kind of like everyone's mom. Uh, we have Apollo. The goddess, the god of... Maybe we should be... Babe! It's... it's Babe, what, you've been word? here, right? What's the word? It's like... Future... He's the god of abs, okay? He's the god of, of shirtless... The sun yes. and, and also premonition <laughs> or... Uh, yeah, a prophecy. 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 The god, Apollo the sun god of prophecy. <laughs> yeah. We also have... Here, I'll, I'll give them to you easy. Aphrodite. Who's Aphrodite? The goddess of love. That's right. True love. You know that one. Um, and, and in the last Persephone. episode we had uh, with Aphrodite, she was uh, thinking that she was going to pass on her idol on to a new... Basically, it's a generational kind of thing. Uh -huh. um, and uh, she she has decided not to. We, we yeah. retain our Aphrodite. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, Who's Persephone? Persephone is the former goddess of Queen of the Underworld. Mm. But now she runs a club called the Underworld. Right on the nose. Mm -hmm. We also met Hecate. Who, who is Hecate? A very cool, large lady who um, is the... She's a titan. A titan. Is what my wife means by large lady. She was very large. It's not a, it's not a Lady, lady Dimitrescu situation. It could be. Um, <laughs> and she is the... What does she do? She wi Wisdom? No. Books. Books. You have not been paying any attention. I have. Magic. magic. She's like the mega witch. Dark she's ma dark, dark magic. magic. Dark magic. Dark magic. And, dark magic. And knowledge. And, yeah. and, and she's connected to the fates. Uh-huh. Who did we meet there? Among a, her company. A really, really sweet um, Minotaur. Yes, a who, Minotaur. Who is in love with Hecate. Yes. And we helped him profess his love for her. And <laughs> that was great news. But we were at Hecate's place because Calliope had gone there the night that she died. And she was breaking in to uh, right. Hecate's space which is not allowed. And so we have to figure out what was she looking for? Why was she there? Was she murdered after that? Um, there is also Medusa, who apparently was chasing after Calliope as well. Who I think is kind of our next stop. We yeah. have not yet gone to talk to Medusa. We, we did talk to Hermes, who's the messenger god. Mm -hmm. and Erika Ishii. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that gives you all the major players. Yeah. Besides Pan. Pan. Oh. Pan has horns. Pan might be one of my favorites. He's real smooth, and he's given us a lot of instructions, information, and it all seems like there's a catch. Yes. Everything we, he says sounds like there's a catch. don't trust him, but somehow I also really like him. And then Freddy. Freddy is our best friend. She is a human. She's a mortal. She's a mortal. Wah, wah. Yeah. And she is helping us uh, solve this mystery because she loves us so and uh that is essentially all the cast of characters so far you have been recapped but we will recap you further should you require it uh grace kami thank you for the gift sub to vex the beast i appreciate thank that you. very much thank you and uh while we get the stream uh up and fired up let me check in here because i do think we have one more prize to uh -huh. pull before we go so deeper. i'm curious does anybody have any suspicions of who they think is the killer because i do and i'm curious if anybody else is sus to you because i am kind of feeling like it might be athena just, what i'm just i'm just thinking what i'm just thinking maybe I don't know. 
I mean, Apollo's got a lot of opinions about what's going on, but he's also a potential romance interest, so I don't know. Not Athena, no way. Maybe Athena, you're not sure yet. Plinkety, welcome back for 45 months. All right, for those of you who've already played the game, yeah, thank you for- don't tell us if you've already played. Talks. I think we should jump in, okay? Okay. Um, Calcium Avenue, Calcium Avenue. Thank you for the gifted sub. Let's go, or gifted prize. Let's go, yay, new sticker. It's super cool. Yay. Let's pull a winner right quick. Just type a thing in the chat. Let me know that you're here and interested to win. And Kinto is oblivion. Welcome back for seven months. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. All right, Great just type you. a thing in the chat and we are going to pull the winner. All right. Here it is. Wow. Wow, this winner is a friend who goes by the name of Loma Sweet Tooth. Yeah, congratulations. Congratulations, Loma Sweet Tooth. Congratulations, Loma I've just Sweet sent Tooth. you a whisper with instructions on how to claim your prize. Mm -hmm. God, it is hot in here already. Yeah. All right, are we ready? We're ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Amelia's got the controls into the box as we go. <laughs> This warning, overriding save data is a bad idea. I think we just go, just go to continue. Okay, so we have three options of what we could do. I am currently blocking Medusa's lair, but I kind of feel like I want to go see Medusa because Medusa. Let's check out Medusa. Hey, Plinkety, thank Plinkety. you for the 10 gifted subs. We offer you a hug. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the good vibes. Let's go say hey to Medusa. Hey, Plinkety, what do you think? Yeah, let's go to Medusa. All right, in we go. All right. Go, go, go. And Black September, welcome back for 27 months. This must be the Viper's Nest. Scariest Viper. part of town. No sign. Just that one dude glaring at everyone. Well, I'm here now. Just another day in the life of an idol. Ugh, there you are. Man, this place is the worst. I think someone peed on me. Freddy? What are you doing here? <laughs> what, you thought I wouldn't notice you skulking off? You didn't even bring any equipment, Grace. She brought spray um, paint and a mace, it looks like. <laughs> uh, you shouldn't be here. Freddy, I left you behind for a reason. Don't you realize how dangerous this could be? Do you not realize how dangerous this could be? Yeah, but I'm an idol. You're... Uh, Mortal. If there is a just about to come out of your mouth, Grace, so help me, I will slap it back in. Look, you're gonna need some backup in there, okay? Do you even know anything about Medusa? Shh. Can she turn people into stone? All right. Do you think she actually turns people to stone? Well, let's hope not, or this could be a short visit. <laughs> or a really, really long one. I'm serious. Perseus used a mirror to reflect Medusa's gaze back at her. Oh, maybe you could use your phone. You think that would work? Unless you brought a mirror, Grace, it's all you got. Tell me what you okay, know. Okay, I'll bite. What do you know about Medusa? Uh, well, you know, she was human once, right? And she was cursed. Apollo mentioned it, yeah. Cursed by Athena. Or so one of the stories goes, anyway. But doesn't she work for Athena? Hey, don't look at me. My knowledge of this stuff stops at a few thousand years ago. Okay, enough talking. Time to do this. Uh, you have a plan for how we're getting inside, I hope? Maybe. You're here to help? <laughs> Always. Then I have a plan. Okay, so we can either use a distraction find another entrance, or confront the Enforcer. What do you feel like doing, friends? I feel like we could try and find another entrance, or we could use a distraction. Mm, I don't hate the idea of a distraction. I think uh, just confronting the dude is going to say no, because yeah. that's his job. Yeah. Let's All distract. Right, let's distract. Confirmation. Hi, uh, this is where the comic convention is, right? I hope I'm not too late for the signing. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm afraid you had the wrong address. What? No. Oh, God. No. No, that can't be right. Do you understand the indignities that I have endured? The weird looks, the 
body odors. Someone spilled coffee all over my cosplay outfit. I. Uh, no, no, do not tell me that I'll I got it wrong. I spent $50 on around. this ticket. I demand my personal photo. Huh. We're inside! Words! <clears throat> I'm warning you. Oh. This is something you don't want to do. Hmm. Tell me more about me. Look at you. A prime sashimi with opinions, too. <laughs> Medusa, listen. I'm warning you. Mm, yes, keep on warning me. There's no me. rewinding. It's something you can't undo. Can't undo. It's kind of the point, lovely. No. Take a look at you. Van calls you hideous. That's just untrue. Enough. I'd kill for eyes like that. The body, too. Don't look at me. Maybe the hair needs some attending to. Don't look at me. Big picture, honey. It's nothing you can't undo. Yeah, you're not a killer. <laughs> you're much too cute. You're lost, little girl. 
No more Hail Marys We both know the cute girl's hue The killer's me Don't know, you don't know I do know that you didn't ki Kill Calliope So you know That it's true That I didn't do it No Yes, you do know, you know Does that mean Athena knows. No! Fine grace. Don't you see, Medusa? You are you just her soul. Your queen's a user. You're you Athena's fool. A Could get you Is she serious? That depends. What do you think, Medusa? Will you help me out? Oh, fine. Fine. What exactly is it that you want, pretty muse? Did you try to eat Calliope too? Yeah, you can did you? start by telling me whether you tried to eat Calliope like you just tried to eat me. Blast! This is why I didn't tell Lady Athena. I knew it would come back to haunt me. I only followed pretty Calliope to the reliquary. I never spoke to her, never even caught up to her. I swear it. That's what Asterion told us, more or less. But you were there that night. Yes, yes, I admit it. Ugh, Lady Athena will have my head. She'll mount it on a pike. Whatever you might think of me, I had no part in the muse's death. I did not even know she'd been attacked until I saw her fleeing. Uh, why were you following Calliope? You followed yeah, Calliope why? to the reliquary. Why were you shadowing her at all? I am Lady Athena's spy master, yes. Calliope has been trouble from time to time. So you were spying on her? I keep watch over every idol who no longer lives in Olympus, but especially Calliope. When I realized she was headed to the reliquary that eve, I followed. I had a duty to Athena. Just give me major Bernadette Peter vibes. I know, I know. Uh, did you find out why she was there? Did you ever find out why Calliope went there? I was never close enough to ask. When I drew near to the reliquary, that is when I saw the muse fleeing. She was frightened. Bloodied. Dying. Let me guess, that made you hungry. I gave chase, yes, but to discover the truth. I knew Lady Athena would wish to know. That does make sense from your perspective. I didn't learn the truth until later. And then it was far too late. Asterion said you two met. Asterion is the uh, Minotaur, who I love. Asterion said he caught up with you out in the fog. Is that right? I thought he was the one who had attacked her. He is a great beast of a creature. He killed Hecate's cat by accident. But this still seems hard to believe. Yes, I only realized my mistake once I caught up to him, and by then the muse was gone. And you never found her afterwards? I thought she might flee to her pretty home, or to the sharp and prickly Persephone. She did neither. Yeah, she came to see me. You haven't told Athena any of this? You agreed to help, remember? I, I told her Calliope was at the reliquary that night. I did not tell her I was also there. Why not? Wouldn't Athena find out from Hecate anyway? No, oh, I, I was not thinking clearly. I panicked. I... Lady Athena barely tolerates my presence as it is. If she thought I was involved in any way, if she even suspected. 
How can we believe you? Why should we believe you? You did just try to eat me, remember? I agreed to help you. I speak the truth. Right, and not at all trying to cover your own ass. You presented an opportunity. Oh, to taste the sweet, sweet blood of a hero once again. Uh, it, it's a problem. I've been working on it, I really have. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, what a pan! The only reason I knew Calliope was going to the reliquary is because he informed me. So much for never lying to me. What were the odds, honestly? Let's uh, put a pin in that for the moment, shall we? I am a monster. It's true, I do not deny it. But still, I did not kill the muse. I believe her. I mean, if she killed the muse, wouldn't she have eaten her? Yeah, I feel like she would have. Why just take a little bite? Why just a little sample? <laughs> Why just a little sample? Okay, let's say we believe you. For the moment. I've told you everything I know. We have a bargain. You said my curse might be lifted. I'll ask Apollo. That's all I can do. Whatever you do, pretty muse, I beg you. Do not tell Athena of my indiscretion. Show mercy. I know what I am horrifies you. It horrifies me as well. I cannot help what I am. I did not ask to be cursed like this. Have you done this before? Whether I tell Athena depends. Have you done this before? <laughs> I... Don't you think Athena should know what her spy master is like? No, she cannot. I am a lost and cursed thing. No idea. If Lady Athena should learn the truth. I hope you find what you seek, pretty muse. And that we meet again someday. And sing a different song. Mm. Ooh, Anjali, you're so good. <laughs> Give me chills, girl. Maxito, knew, welcome back for two months. Right from the start, Pan knew Calliope was there that night. Yeah, and who could have foreseen that he was lying to you the entire time? Who, I ask you, a mystery even the Oracle couldn't have penetrated. Right. You were yes, right. Yes, yes, fine. You were right, Freddy. As always. Ha! See, was that so hard? Anyhow, you probably have a few questions for Mr. Goatman. I'll see you at home. Mm -hmm. Awesome. <laughs> Would you really have tried to burn Medusa's face off with an aerosol can? <laughs> Hell yeah! One hint of googly eyes and... <laughs> <laughs> what would I do without you? Huh? You'll never need to answer that question, Grace. Aww. Aww. Friends. Ooh, All right, here's Pans. Over to Pans. You gotta be so bad, Pan. Bad. Oh, if it isn't, uh, the lovely Grace? You knew. Right from the start, you knew Calliope was there that night. Well. She asked for the key and I gave it to her, no questions asked. I told you I didn't know what happened to Calliope and that's the truth. I did not. So I nudged you in the right direction. What aren't you telling me? So you were what? Just trying to be helpful? You still aren't telling me something. What possible reason would I have to- Tell me, right now. Medusa learned that Calliope was going to the reliquary because I told her. Now, before you say anything, I had no idea of the fate awaiting our dear muse. And you yourself said Medusa was not responsible. I simply had to know if I, if I'd inadvertently, rather innocently, Sold her out? 
She came to you for help, and you gave her whereabouts to the highest bidder. I am trying to help Grace. In my way. What do you, what do you mean, in my way? What is what? What way is that? Uh, the way where I don't take all the blame. <laughs> <laughs> what else will I discover, Pan? I'd rather learn it now than later. I wish I could tell you, Grace. I truly do. Now you're a super suspect. All right. We can talk to Freddy. Where go do to we Grace's want to head, part, team? Apartment or talk to Apollo. We could go talk to Apollo and tell him about Medusa, because that was one of the things that we promised to her. Thoughts? Reasonable. Yeah. Hey, Natalie, welcome back for 30 months. Thank you for the vibes. I'm seeing a lot of love for Apollo and yeah. for going to see Freddy. Let's go check in with Apollo. Okay. Grace, back again so soon. Did you find Medusa after all? You've been on my mind ever since you told me about her. I did, and it was fine. I told you it would be. Okay, it almost wasn't fine, but it worked out. Nobody got hurt. I see. Perhaps you'd best tell me what happened then. So what had happened was... That sounds like quite the harrowing experience. One that could have gone very poorly indeed. Uh, I know, I know, it. but let's focus on the important part of the story. Which is that Medusa seems to have been cleared. And that brings us back to Pan. Have you confronted him about it? He admitted to selling out Calliope, but not to killing her. I don't know if I can believe him. I've never thought of Pan as a liar so much as a manipulator. Still, he would do anything to protect himself. I'll have to give this some thought. I did tell you we could discuss your memories and the Eidolon more in depth after the party. Did you have any questions or...? Okay, so uh, for anyone who's a little confused, um, because, uh, basically, Grace is going to start to have Calliope's memories as her own and remember all of, you know, yeah, basically, like, inherited Calliope's memories. And yes, that's Troy Baker, and, uh, Grace is Laura Bailey. Uh, how many times have you died? How many times have you died? Can I ask that? No. We call it passing on, meeting the Eidolon, and it's fine. I've passed on 12 times that I can recall. So your name isn't really Apollo? Most recently it was Lucas. Everyone Lucas ever knew is gone, however, so these days I prefer Apollo again. Lucas? <laughs> Seems weird to think of you as a Lucas. <laughs> it was weird for him, too. Much like yourself, Lucas becoming Apollo was... Somewhat of a surprise. Sounds like there's a story there. All right. Tell me. Tell me about this Lucas. How did he become you? Or is it how you became Apollo? Apollo had taken to surfing. He left the city without permission and roamed the coast looking for... Well, I'm not sure now. Whatever it was, he found it one night when a giant wave took him down. He was drowning, and he thought, I thought, this is finally it. But it wasn't. Lucas saw Apollo struggling and swam out to save him. He pulled us ashore, but it was too late. It took a long time to realize what happened. I didn't return to the city until years later. By then, everyone thought I was Apollo's chosen successor. So no trial for you, huh? It wasn't easy at first, without memories or anyone to guide me, but... No. Nothing like that. That's a lot to consider. 
Assuming I'll even have time to worry about it, what with the trial coming. Hopefully this eases whatever concerns you might have had. Anything else you'd like to discuss while you're here? Hmm... More about Calliope? No thanks. No, I that's okay. Good. I'll see you later, Apollo. Okay, let's go talk to Freddy. Our best friend. And Mooney Bun, welcome back for 13 months. Appreciate you hanging out. Hey, hey. So what's the news, Miss Muse? <laughs> Miss Muse? <sighs> well, does a muse have a proper form of address? I just want to hear what exciting adventures you've been having. Well, I uh, stopped the goddess of love from killing herself, I guess. Whoa. Do gods have interventions? You know, they're nothing like I thought they would be. Everything else okay, though? Do we know who the killer is yet? Not just yet, no. Okay, well, let me know if there's anything I can do. If I have to hustle to become your high priestess, well, so be it. <laughs> um, how are our friends? <laughs> What are Kaz and Brian up to? You didn't tell them anything, did you? No, I told them you came home, that you're okay, but that you're having a moment. They send their love. Should we tell them, do you think? What for? They have their own problems. Plus, Brian can't keep a secret to save his life, and Kaz is officially homeless. Is he still crashing on Brian's couch? Uh, Grace, you do know that Brian doesn't have a couch, right? Just some giant beanbag things? Then where is Kaz sleep? Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's cute. They'll tell us when they're ready. But right now, it's best just to not mix them up in this. All right. Uh, what do you know about the gods? Exactly how much do you know about the Greek gods, Freddy? I know my Greek mythology, but what I've read clearly doesn't line up with who they are today. Or who they ever were, maybe. Still might be useful. There's got to be some truth to those stories, right? Maybe? Who do you want to hear about? Um, all right, tell me about... Do you know anything about Calliope. the Muses? Or Calliope in particular? Yeah, for starters, there were supposed to be nine. Though I guess there are some sources that said there were only four, maybe three. Each of the Muses had her specialty. Did you know that Calliope is supposed to be the Muse of epic poetry? She inspired the Odyssey. Wow. I don't even like poetry. Yeah, it was said her singing voice was unmatched. So they got that part right, at least. Did she also lead the ancient Greeks in giant choreographed dance numbers? Mm, no, but she once turned a bunch of snobby princesses into magpies, so there's that. <laughs> okay. um, Just how many of these gods are there? From what I've heard, lots of idols live around here. Well, there are tons of minor gods in Greek mythology. Hundreds, even, depending on how you define them. Oddly, there's never any mention of the word idols in relation to them. Maybe it's like how people worshipped idols? I sort of assumed it was related to the Eidolon. Which is a Greek word, but I think it means ghost. An image of someone after they die. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Me? I'm more amazed at all the big names missing. Not just Zeus and Hades, most of the Olympians seem to be gone. Makes you think about what's been lost, but also what might still be out there. Yeah, like where's Poseidon? My yeah. dear, where's he resided? What about Athena? What about Athena? Is she really supposed to be the goddess of wisdom? Or sure. mom god? But mostly that's meant as tactical knowledge. Athena wasn't all sweetness and light. She was a warrior goddess. She was also the goddess Not of heroes. Yeah. There are loads of stories where Athena helps guys like Odysseus or Jason or Perseus. No female heroes back in those days? Yeah, guess not. Women were the weaker sex, which maybe is why Athena was portrayed as being vindictive. She cursed Medusa, one of her own priestesses. She turned people into spiders, struck them blind, started the Trojan War. That's the whole thing. Not being as wise as advertised is on brand for her, then. Hmm. I wonder how much of those stories are true. Yeah, it's hard to say. I'm giving you the quick version. There are reams of textbooks out there covering all this, but even they rarely agree with each other. 
Really? Nothing definitive? Ancient Greece was 3,000 years ago, Grace. Not much information survived all that time, if it was even valid to begin with. Okay, that's enough questions for now. You sure? I can talk all day. You know I can. I'll check back with you soon, Freddy. Time for more mystery solving. Hello and welcome! Hello, new friends! Buenvenidos. Quiero aprender más español, pero uh, solamente uh, hablo inglés in the chat. Thank you very much. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Kitty Black Cats, thank you for the cheers! All right, let's go to Grace's apartment. Yeah, we haven't been home in a while. Yeah, let's go home. Oh! Uh, hi, Grace. I can just call you Grace, right? That's my name. Where's Freddy? She went out to get snacks. We were gonna watch TV while we waited, but, um, well, here you are. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Thank you for the host or the raid, whoever you were out there. Hello, friends. Come on in. Welcome, new friends. I see a bunch of new people following the channel real quick. Why don't we take a little pause here? Yeah, let's here. take a little pause. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in. Hello. Uh, thank you, thank you for being here. <laughs> Escuche la camiseta sobre domingo a sacapuntas, Professor Singwe Hela Aya. Um, uh, Rick P9, thank you for the gift sub to Ila Juan. Hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> uh, that doesn't make any sense, sir. No, but we do have some prizes and we have a good number of friends who are here just joining for the first time. So okay. let's take a, a brief moment to say thank you. Gracias to Chloe, Crystallized Faith. Hello. Who says these new stickers are so amazing. I hope everyone's having an awesome time zone. Stay hydrated. Pencil sharpener, see. Sí. Yeah. Sacapuntas. <laughs> so, como se dice pencil sharpener in, in español? Es sacapuntas. Uh, this is our mission successful, mission successful sticker. And it comes from our friend Eliza Frant, exclamation point Eliza in the chat. Um, thank you so much for being here. Oh, that's so cool. Hello, uh, Juan. We're showing our stream. Oh, well, I'm glad you can oh, join. Yeah, Come on Detroit. in. Detroit, that's so cool. Uh, I hope you had fun playing Detroit and you kept the characters alive. This is our Detroit sticker inspired by our mission successful emote. <laughs> uh, and we'd like to give it to you now. So if you would like to win all of our new friends, you can just type something in the chat and we're going to pull a winner for six prizes. Six prizes, which also brings us up to eight. Uh, and if we cross over 40... Uh, on the stream today, then everybody who wins will get a bonus sticker, one of our le legacy stickers in the back. Uh, wow, that's a lot of friends. Come on in. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you all typing, typing, typing. Thank you so much for joining us. All right, ready to help me keep track of six? Yeah, yeah, I'll keep track of six. All right, if you would like to enter yourself to win our mission successful sticker, then type something into the chat. We're going to pull six winners. All right, here we go. Congratulations to Pretty Lemon 5, your winner number one. Congratulations, Pretty Lemon. Let's keep it going, keep it flowing. Appreciate you being here. This goes to Immortal Youth. 88. Immortal Youth 88. Congratulations. Congratulations. Next up, it's CK198138. Congratulations, CK. Congratulations. Three more winners. Three more winners. All right. Uh, next up, it's Attica. Attica, congratulations. Congratulations, Attica. Thank you for being here. And uh, do, 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 do. Mooney Bun. Mooney Bun. Mooney Bun. Congratulations. congratulations, Mooney Bun. One more. One more. This one goes to Wolf0709. Congratulations, Wolf. Congratulations! Big thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. And everybody who's just uh, tuning in, should we maybe or just Yeah, keep let's going? give a little bit. So uh, for everybody just joining us, we are playing a game called Stray Gods, which is a new game that just released. It's a role-playing, branching narrative musical all about the Greek gods. And we are playing as Grace, who is the main character, who has become uh, the muse Calliope. She has um, taken on her powers and her essence, but Calliope was murdered, so we have to solve the mystery of who murdered her. That's right. And we get to make different choices in song and in conversation, and we're trying to find the killer. Yeah, yeah, and thank you so much, uh, Ilawan. Hello. 
Hello. Hey, hello, hello. Thank you for for uh, stopping by. I am glad you're enjoying Detroit Become Human. Um, Amelia plays the Tracys in I the did. game. Mm -hmm. And um, I wish I had something in particular to tell you. Do I, you want to say maybe you could do a a, a Connor thing? Like, is there a, like a Connor? Hello, Illawan. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife to say what's up. <laughs> hey. <Yay! laughs> there um, it is. He said the thing. He said the thing. He's the, the android. android. He said the thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, you're all very welcome. Buen vendidos. Thank you for being here. Muchas gracias. I appreciate you very much. Now in Spanish. Me llamo Connor. I, that's all I know. <laughs> Hola. Hola. Me llamo Connor. Uh, Beatrice, thank you for Sorry. being here for three months. The android. Um, and we, android. we've got someone, someone give me the. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Hello, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife in Espanol. Uh, Moral Oats, thank you for being here. Okay, uh, soy uh, André, uh, soy el André androide que envía Cyberlife. <laughs> <laughs> Hola, me llamo Connor. Soy el André... Android. Android que envía Cyberlife. I took four years of Spanish, cuatro años en español. Escucha la camiseta sobre domingo a sacapuntas, profesor Singuejela allá. Ah, it would be my, uh, mi nombre. Mi nombre es Connor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hola, mi nombre es Connor. I'm trying my best. <laughs> 28 stab wounds. <laughs> uh, appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. Um, should we jump back in? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Beatrice, uh, thanks for being here for three months. And Z, never mind. Thanks for subscribing. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining. Let's. We're going to continue playing the game, but you're all very welcome. Come on in. All right. Uh, uh, were you looking for me? What? So this is Hermes. Waited. Were you looking for me? <laughs> All over, yeah. Athena sent me to find you, but it wasn't easy. Yeah, you must have been busy. Yeah, because I stand trial soon. Right. Right, that makes sense. Anyway, uh, I guess Athena wants to talk? I can zip us over to Olympus anytime, if you're free. Uh, do we have a choice? Do I have a choice about seeing Athena? I'm not in the habit of being at anyone's beck and call. I mean, I guess you could say no, but I wouldn't. If Athena wants something, she's gonna get it eventually. She had that look in her eyes, like she really wants to talk to you. Yeah, she could always <laughs> come home. Everyone uh -oh. else does. Athena entered the mortal world? <laughs> and now she doesn't do that ever. Can you imagine? Wait, I wait. there's oh. no point in putting it off. Do your thing. Take me to Olympus. Okay. Oh, uh, when you see Freddy, tell her I'm sorry I couldn't stick around for the movie. And mind if I say something? Sure. You've changed. I mean, from the person I met when I first came here. When, you know. You got it together really quick. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. So, if Athena never leaves Olympus, then didn't she leave Olympus to come down? I mean, no, to because talk Calliope, to us we went to her. Remember? We went through. Mm. Mm. Okay, so we have the option of changing. Okay, we need your, we need your help, every friend. All right, so this <laughs> this is an important moment. We can change our trait. Uh, I guess we can change it, because right before we had Clever. Well, we had Clever before. Yeah. So does it go to Clever again? No, we can't. So we have to get an, we're going to add a trait. Yeah, we're going to add a trait. So we already chose Clever, and now we can add either Kick-Ass or Charming. I want Kick-Ass. Yeah, I kind of want Kick-Ass too. Let's do it. Okay. Give me that Kick-Ass option. So we're going to be more in your face. Hey, fish We're going to be some punk rock. Yeah, Kick-Ass. Yeah. I don't listen to music as such, but I'd like to. <laughs> Knights of the Black Death. Let's go. Hey, Teverberg. Teverberg, yo. Teverberg, thank you so much. Teverberg, muchas gracias. 25 
have gifted so Mantha Zingo! Thank hey. you so much! Thank you, friend. Thank you. Thank, thank you for the 25 you. gifted subs. Appreciate you very much. Thank you, 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 thank you. That's so epic. If you got one of those 25 gifted subs, please be sure to check out the starter kit. That'll show you the way around the channel. Yes. And Tiberberg, welcome back for seven months. Great to see you. Thank you so much for your support. If you got one of those 25 gifted subs from Tiberberg, please be sure to thank them. And you can check out our starter kit and uh, learn your way around Twitch. Come to our Discord. <laughs> welcome. You're welcome times 25. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate your support. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out with us. <laughs> All right. Let's be kick ass. There you are, Grace. Do have a seat. I prefer to stand, thanks. As you like. You've certainly been busy, haven't you? Everywhere I turn, there you are. Including the reliquary. Oh. I'm uncertain how you got access, but even you must have realized it's off limits. Particularly for your mortal friend. Um, I have to prove my innocence or you know what happened there. I don't feel like you know what happened there. I have to prove my innocence. I have to prove my innocence because you know what happened there. Yeah. Am I not supposed to be proving my innocence? Would you prefer I did nothing? I'd prefer you didn't break any other rules in the meantime. Such as? Do you have a list I can read or do you just make them up as you go? Ooh. Mm. Mm. You think our judgment mm. was rash? It was. In truth, I worried that giving you time, letting us all get to know you, would make it harder in the end. I am sorry, Grace. You may not believe it, but I care deeply. I <gasps> care. Whoa! Invader Vi! Oh my goodness! Invading the channel! Whoa! Invader Vi! Come Thank on in! You come for the on rain. in! Come on in, friends! Come on in! I appreciate you. Whoa. Thank you for being here. That's that is massive. One thousand six hundred and ninety people here joining. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank oh you! Oh my goodness! Thank you! Thank what you! What are you all up to over on Invader Vi's channel? Thank I appreciate you so much. that raid. Uh, wow. For those of you who might not be following, you can check out Invader Vi, who I know is streaming. Sometimes four and more times a week. Uh, thank you for being here. This is fantastic. Yeah. Um, well, oh, <laughs> lucky you. Oh well, we think you're lovely. We think you're all quite wonderful. Yes. Um, if if you'd let us, uh, we'd like to gift you some prizes whenever we have a raid come on. I check this to see if we have some prizes to give. And we do. We have two. Nice. Um, from our friend Nikiro Zero to says to celebrate Lowe's new album, Mission Successful. Oh, nice. Uh, well, we have this prize. We have two prizes to give away. This is our brand new Mission Successful sticker uh, because we like to encourage people to celebrate uh, wins, big and small. So if you would like to enter yourself to win the sticker... Just, just type something in the chat. Anything at all. Come on in. Come on in. And we'll pull two winners right now. Uh, thank you. Thank you, friends, for joining us. And thank you, Nikiro Zero, uh, for gifting this prize to our new friends. <laughs> Thank you. Fantastic. And a big thank you to people who are following. I see Miss Minnie Finney, uh, Fudgy B. I see Robotsiki. I see Crispy80, uh, Ren Bits, uh, Venegas. Thank you so much for the for the follows, friends. We are working towards our goal of 480,000 on Twitch, and we are only about 25 away. So big thank you uh, to everybody who's typing in the chat right now. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> cool. All right. I love it. This one goes to... Granny and the Geek. Congratulations, <laughs> Granny and the Geek. You're winner number one. <laughs> let's keep it going. Granny and the Geek. Yeah, let's go. Granny and the Geek. <laughs> um, and <laughs> we need one more winner right now. Thank you, friends. Thank you, everybody, for these awesome messages. I see a lot of kind people saying a lot of nice things. We have... <laughs> um, whoa. Whoa, oh. Lua. It's Lula the Lunatic. Congratulations, Congratulations, Lula. Lula the Lunatic. Congratulations. If you ever win anything on our channel, you'll get a whisper from us up here. New Spartan, thank you for using your Prime. If y'all have Amazon Prime, you can link it to Twitch for a free subscription. Exclamation point free in the chat will take you there. Yeah. 
thank you for your support. King Barrett 2K, thanks for the follow. Yuko 1990, thanks for the follow. We got um, Torty Frutum and Miriam 4499, thanks for the follow. I got Vibe FU, thanks for being <laughs> here. Uh, Shadow 1214, all these follows coming in. Dang, look uh, at this thing go. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank Ransom you. Ransom Note asks, how many how many of the prizes have we given away so far? Uh, so, so far we have given away, that just crosses us over 10. And when we make it over 40 on the whole stream, everyone who wins or even orders a sticker today is going to get a mystery sticker, one of our past uh, sticker prizes. Fantastic. Yeah. I'm, I'm really grateful you can all join us here. Yeah, thank you all so much uh, for coming. I see Saga870. Hey, we did it! What? Mission successful! Yes! Wait, what? 480,000 on Twitch! <laughs> what? So That's that insane. means we're going to be having a special celebration. I was hoping this would happen in time, but we're going to be doing a special celebration next Friday, a concert stream with our buddy Lo the Music Man! Exclamation point L-O in the chat will take you to Logan's channel. And that will uh, hook you up with his new album just released. On Saturday, we're playing Control. And on Sunday, it's going to be Uncharted, Drake's Fortune. Thank you, friends, for joining us. Fantastic. Yeah, thank you all so much. Uh, uh, so for anybody who's just joining, we're playing right now a game called Stray Gods. It's a new branching narrative role-playing musical game set in Greek mythology, and we are playing as Grace, who is a young woman who has just become one of the muses. She has taken the magical powers of Calliope, right. who was murdered. Murdered. And now we have to solve the murder before we ourselves are murdered. Don't you get murdered. So murder is on the horizon, <laughs> um, but we have to stop it. We're going to so stop the murder. We are having a meeting right now with uh, Athena, who is, no me gusta muerto. She she <laughs> is a, a little. Uh, I'm suspicious of Athena because we're trying to figure out who killed Calliope and why. Yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. uh, nuclear RV8. Thank you for being here uh, and subscribing. Thank you, thank you. I say, Mr. Blanco, thanks for the follow. Uh, Skeletorps, thanks for the follow. No Limit Two Six Two, thanks for the follow. Axel Astor is here. Uh, um, whoa, I see uh, Vincente Riveros. Thank you for using your Prime. Muchas gracias. Thank, thank you for you being for here. Subscribing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate you all hanging out with us today. Um, we're going to continue playing the game and, and we'll take a hydration break in a little while, but this is a nice big raid. Yeah, that's um, amazing. Thank you all for helping thank us you. Uh, cross over our goal. And Invader Vi, thank you again uh, for sharing your beautiful community with us. Uh, let's continue on, shall we? Okay, yeah. And uh, we would love your your opinions on what choices to make because I'm indecisive. Yeah, feel free to get in, get in there. Yeah, okay. All ready? Right. Let's go. Oh. Care about there we go. what happens to you oh. and to Make it big. Make it big. Whoop. Yeah. All the idols. This is Athena. This is Grace. This is us. Us. Okay, so... You don't care at all. Or maybe about Medusa, who is our, her spy captain. Like you oh, yeah. Medusa. <laughs> She's just like not even looking at her. Uh, she, you cursed her. She lives like that because you cursed her. Have you even tried to undo it? I'm betting not, because she's useful like this, and that's where your caring ends. Zeus was the first to leave, king of the gods, and we don't even know what became of him, vanished into the ether. Poseidon was next, walked out into the seas, never to be heard from again. Ares betrayed us, Hephaestus saved us. Hades was murdered, and by one of our own, the list goes on. All of that sounds terrible, but I don't understand what... We are dying, Grace. I don't mean diminishing or drifting apart. I mean our immortality is disappearing. Very soon now, the idols will be no more. We are a legacy that spans millennia, dating back to the very dawn of humankind. So yes, I care. I will do anything and everything in my power to avoid that fate, even if it appears unfair.
You know, it's too bad. <laughs> I've been an idol for five minutes, and I've been out there solving problems you've all wrestled with for how long now? I could have helped you, Athena. I could have helped all of you. But you don't see that, do you? You're so busy holding on to what you have, you can't see what you're throwing away. I know we've put a great deal on your shoulders, Grace. I do. All I called you here to ask is that you please not make my job more difficult than it already is. If you have any other questions or concerns, now's the time to bring them up. Okay, so should we ask about the suspect pan? Should we ask about the reliquary where all of the books on magic are kept and where Calliope herself was stabbed? Or Medusa, who tried to eat us? Pan, 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 or Dusa? What do you know of Tell Pan? Me about pan? That's not a name I expected to hear. Been sniffing around you, has he? I have some suspicions, and I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Pan lurks at the edges because he likes it there, seeking out whatever profit he thinks he can get away with. Avoid him, dear, or he'll stick to you like gum to the bottom of your shoe. What about... Is he a killer? Okay, so you don't like Pan much. I get that. But do you think he could kill someone? <laughs> We've all killed, my dear. I was once a warrior queen, feared by mortals and gods alike. A another idol, I mean. Is that where your investigation has led you? To Pan? Really, we're just a little suspicious of Pan. I'm missing something. Yeah, we're missing something. Sort of, but I feel like I'm missing something important. Maybe the Goddess of Wisdom could help me out? It would be helpful to know what Calliope was doing at the Reliquary, but she's not available to ask. Not until you regain her memories, at least. Why not put off the trial until then? Seems like a good way to solve all this, yeah? <laughs> and trust what you decide to share? I think not. Let's mis discuss Medusa. Okay, let's talk about Medusa. Again, if you wish, what of her? Well, she's just gonna eat us. Uh, we said we wouldn't tell her that. Oh, right. She's not. She was never gonna yeah. eat. She wasn't. Wasn't why, gonna why eat. Why? Do, why does she work for you? I just have to know why. Of all the people you could have working for you, why her? We could have left her behind. I elected to bring her because, in the end, she is my responsibility. But Medusa didn't want charity. She volunteered to work in my service. It's... It, it's trying at times. Now, if there isn't anything else... Who can access yeah, who the else reliquary? Yeah, who else can even get in there? Who has access to the reliquary? Is it anyone with a key, or... Does it matter? You gained access, so clearly it is not difficult to get. Speaking of which, I don't suppose you'll tell me who gave you that key. And You're kidding, right? Should we kick ass? Yeah, let's we'll kick ass while we can. Alright, alright. Gave it Matter. to me. Athena, I had that key all along. You what? It's just like you thought. I used it to attack Calliope that night. Then I brought her back home to finish her off. A mortal with a plan, baby. Stole my way into godhood. Watch me roar. That's not funny, Grace. What's funny is that you thought I'd tell you without getting anything in return. You went there. Speaking of the reliquary, you went there, right? Once Hecate told you what happened? Mm. Yeah, I was not impressed by the delay. If you had known about that, the night Calliope died, would it have made a difference? Hmm. The chances are exceedingly small that you attacked her there, it's true. Yet, Calliope was weakened, which made her more vulnerable prey for an enterprising mortal. One she knew. Perhaps the incidents are connected, perhaps not. I cannot afford the risk of uncertainty, Grace. I'm sorry. I'll go. I'll go. I guess I'll get back to my investigation. I am rooting for you, Grace. If there's another way to resolve this, any way at all, 
I will take it. Will you? Really? Good luck. <laughs> Feel free to take a cookie. Maybe not. I'll have a cookie. Yes, thank you. What kind of cookie? Hmm. Yeah, I don't trust Athena I either. I'm surprised. Athena has always struggled in a crisis. Well, that's a nice way of putting it. Remember, she was a warrior. When pressed, she's always turned to that aspect, sought to maintain absolute control. It'd be hypocritical to say it's wrong of her. She's battled for me as much as for anyone. Are the idols really dying, or I didn't need a lecture? Do you think she's telling the truth about the idols dying out? Yes, though I find it odd she chose to tell you. Maybe Athena thought, who'd believe Grace if she blabbed about it anyway? Sadly, while I'd prefer to stay in her good graces, I doubt that will be possible. Uh-oh, what now? You may not like this, but you need to go back to the reliquary. What? What for? Is there something I need to ask Hecate? Here's the thing. We don't know why Calliope went there. It must have been important. Okay, I'll bite. How would I find that out? You think she left clues? Remember how I told you it'd be years before you got Calliope's memories back? Well, that's true, but not entirely. Okay. Those memories are inside you. You go somewhere important to Calliope or touch something special to her, you will get flashes, feelings. Do you want Grace to go to the reliquary so she can have deja vu? Mm -hmm. Sounds like a good idea. Whatever happened there, it ended her life. All we need to do is uncover those memories. Back to the scene of the crime. How are we going to get in? Last time Freddy and I were there, Hecate wouldn't let us into the reliquary. Not without Athena's permission. Okay. Do you want to ask Athena for permission? No, it can you fake like a note? a radical step. For you. A week ago, I would have said that breaking into the reliquary couldn't be done. A week ago, I couldn't have imagined being here. My stance on a lot of things has changed. If you have another idea, however, I'm happy to go along with it. Okay. Let's do it! Yeah! Whatever! Yeah. I trust him! Back to the reliquary it is. Any idea how you want to do this, Grace? Because I'm game to help. Cool. I'm sure we can figure something out. I can't go into the reliquary with you. Not without tipping off Hecate. But I won't be far. If anything goes wrong, I will come running. Even so, Grace. Please be careful. <gasps> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm always careful. <laughs> Come on. The time for adventure is now. Be safe. Both of you. Maxito! Thank you for the gift sub to Matropolitan. Appreciate you. We're going on adventure to find some treasure. Okay, so we have three options of how we can move forward. So Freddy distracts have, Hecate. We can be honest with Hecate. Or sneak in the back way. I mean, maybe I mean honest, honest. I, th I feel like Hecate, honestly, is way chiller than you'd guess. Yeah, like, plus we helped her with love. Honesty is the best policy. Yeah. I mean, you really think you're going to sneak Pats, the, the master witch of all dark magic? I mean, like... I think we gotta be honest. Yeah. Cause doesn't cause doesn't Hecate want the, the murder solved as well? Yeah. It doesn't I think so. doesn't look good on, on Hecate or the reliquary to have this it's worth a try. I mean, it's gonna be hard to take it back though. It like, is written. Like it is written. <laughs> if we if we sneak in and she catches us, we're we're doomed. Uh huh. We just did a distraction on the other one. Uh-huh. It worked. Honesty is the best policy. I think we okay. should try that. Yeah. Honesty. Never mind, I changed my mind. <laughs> now that was my instinct too. Ah, so that is now. 
Oh, you were uh, expecting us? It is written that you would come, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is so cool, I kid you not. Yet it was also written that you would sneak into the reliquary as Calliope did, so this encounter is unanticipated. Well, we're trustworthy. We have to do this. We didn't want to sneak in because we knew you would know. Yeah, we have a guilty conscience. You must know why we're here, though. Yes, although why you refuse to ask Athena for permission, I cannot fathom. Because she would refuse, probably. Without question. So how can my answer be any different than before? Don't you want the truth? You do owe us, but I feel like that's not the best way of getting what we want by saying you owe us. So maybe, don't you want the truth? Do you want to bring up Athena? We want to bring up Athena? This involves Athena. Let's say it involves right, Athena. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. The only reason you won't let me in is because Athena forbids it, right? She is the one to whom I made my promise, yes. What if I said that she's a suspect in Calliope's death? Is she a suspect? She's an idol. I don't know that she's not a suspect. Yet. Without more evidence, isn't her command potentially self-serving? You will regret this. That is also written. That is a yes. Go quickly. Look, but do <laughs> not touch. The reliquary stores many artifacts, some dangerous. Got it. I like that. <laughs> okay, Grace. What the heck do you do now? Of all the times to not have Freddy around, <laughs> she'd love this. First things first, how do I do this? Where do I even start? Wow. Lots of books. That's a lot of God, books. She must have been here. She could have stood in this very spot. Maybe if I just focus. Weird, like I've definitely been here before. Oh, okay, we can look at these different things. Much to we can look at the egg. Yes, egg. Yes, egg. Look at the egg. Let's look at the egg. Yes, egg. Whose egg is this? I don't get any feeling from that. Will I know it when I see it? All right. All right. Well, there's Athena's golden apple. Apple? Um, or the branch? I see Poseidon's trident. Let's do that. Is this an armory, too? Not that one. How about apple? I mean, it's got to be the instrument. Freddy, are you out there? Can you hear me? What am I doing? All that'll do is tell everyone where I am. Okay, instrument? Yeah, you know, muse. Is that a weapon? A musical instrument? Hmm. Maybe it's both. Mm. Alright, whose olive branch is that? Is that Hermes? Whose branch is that? I should really charge for tours. It's kind of amazing. Okay, I see a scroll. Take out the scroll, yeah. I don't even know what language that is. Mask? What a 
Freddy say about mazes? Was it always go left? Or go left and then go right? <sighs> Alright, so it's Athena's olive branch. What about that mirror? Is that the mirror Jason used? Jason! Jason! This is it. Calliope was here. She was standing right here. And she... Witches three. Do you work for Hecate? Do you talk about this? Yeah. Hello. Do you work for Hecate? Are you guardians or something? Uh. Like you know we're the three weird sisters. Okay then. They're the fates? Who's going? Who's it? What's it? Why do they have knives? Why do they have knives? Merger? Sing! What's happening? Why didn't it work? Use the power of song! <laughs> Go left <laughs> and then right! My powers don't work on them. They just keep coming. How did Freddy get in there? Knives! Three knives! No, I won't let you... Cold-blooded. What? That was our favorite Freddy. How did she get in there? Is this a, an, an apparition or something? Illusion? Is this an optical illusion? Is this not for real? Smoke and mirrors? Freddy's our best friend. Oh, God. Oh, God, Freddy. Oh, no. Oh, Grace. You summoned the Furies. What? Those beings were the Furies, beyond all our laws. Not idols, but the embodiment of retribution. How did you draw them here? I didn't. There was a, a big mirror, but I... I didn't even touch it. There was only one mirror of which you could be speaking. That used by the goddess Nyx to contact the fates. Using the mirror would not have brought the Furies down upon you. Not unless the fates themselves decreed it. Need to help Freddy. I don't care what brought them. They killed Freddy. You need to help her. I have no power over life and death, Grace. None of us have that. This was no defense or spell of the reliquaries. I do not have the power to summon the Furies, and I know none who do. You should consider yourself fortunate, Grace. They do not desist until retribution has been exacted. But now is when you leave. Pray the knowledge you obtained was worth the price. No, I'm not leaving Freddy. Not like this. All this magic. There has to be something. Don't tell me there's no way to undo this. We have to leave. We have to leave 
now. Damn, miserable. We got nothing but a downed Freddy out of that. No. Brutal indeed, Caduceus. Brutal indeed. So friends, I'm curious for anyone who had played a slightly different path. Is, is this the same? Does, does this happen no matter what? I think we're going to have to find out later. There must be some way to save Freddy. Act, Act three. three. Let's pause. All right. Let's pause there for just a split second. Pause. Wow, Whoa. team. That was our favorite Freddy and honestly kind of our, our leading love interest. I seems. know. Well, that doesn't mean just because she died there doesn't mean she's actually dead in my mind. So she could not die. I still have hope. I am not. I have not let her go. Didn't, didn't, in my mind. didn't, didn't Hecate just say something about like, we're going to regret that? Yeah, but still. I like, I regret she it can still, immediately. She can still maybe make it through. Oh, uh, it was written. It was written. Damn. Well, I, I do have a way to, to pick up the mood. Okay. We had previously gifted 10 stickers. Yeah. And we said if we got to 40 stickers, everybody would win double time and we'd do bonus stickers for all the people of the town. Oh. Yeah. Well, what had happened was Ransom Note, uh, 1986. What? Who was just living their lives and winning that prize, said get to that 40 and has gifted 30 stickers all the way there. What? So, so Ransom Note. Ransom Note. 1986. Thank you kindly, and what? and and I'm gonna I'm gonna make an adjustment to this because Ransom Note has gifted thirty prizes, and we do have a we do have a uh, an option on our thing to gift twenty eight prizes, so I'm gonna give twenty eight plus ten, so let's gift thirty eight prizes. Uh, can we gift thirty eight prizes from Ransom Note right oh now? Oh my gosh, um, Ransom Note! I, I want you to get that bulk price. You know, we do have on our website. If you want to give uh, six prizes, you can do it for the price of five or thirteen for the price of ten. Wow. Twenty eight for the price of twenty. So. Oh my gosh, that's um, incredible! That's Ransom huge. Note. Ransom Note just just MVP'd this stream MVP, like that. Yes. Uh, every single person who orders a sticker or wins one on today's stream, uh, all you gotta do is claim it today. Uh, so that I know to give two stickers in there. And we'll do a mystery random, uh, some of our Grateful Days, You Are Loved, uh, Starship Friendship, uh, Theo Puff. We have a, a handful of Theo Puff stickers left. Wow. Um, so why don't we pull, uh, what's half of 38? Someone help me out. That's 19. So let's pull 19 now. We'll take a hydration break and we'll pull 19 more on the other side. Um, amazing. Thank you, Ransom Note 1986. Wow. Uh, a very good year. That is incredible. Um, thank you, thank you. And big thank you again to everybody who helped us cross over 480K on Twitch. Yeah, thanks for everyone Doing who came the over most. on the raid. If you'd like to enter yourself to win one of these 38 stickers that we're about to give away, courtesy of Ransom Note, then type something into the chat. We're going to pull 19 winners to start. All right, help me count to 19, Amelia. Here yes. we go. Uh, winner number one. It is gonna be named Valley, Valley eighty nine. Congratulations, Valley eighty nine. Congratulations. Congratulations. Um, although that message kind of disappeared, so I'm gonna try to send it twice. Yeah. You may have got the message twice. There we go. Um, next up, it is. Do 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 do. Toshter. Congratulations, Toshter. Next up, it's. Oh, Nikiro Zero. That's Nikira. nice. Nikiro Zero gifted one earlier, and now you win. <laughs> uh, next up, it is Omega Prime. Omega Prime. Roll out. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Uh, next up, it is Akita Day. Akita Day, congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, next up, we got Beatrice. Beatrice. Well, Beatrice, congratulations. Congratulations. That's six so far. Next up. Okay. 
Holy whoa. There's a lot of hype. Thank you all for typing. Lassie, congratulations, Lassie. Lassie, congratulations. Next up is Twelve and Miles. Twelve and Miles. Congratulations, Twelve and Miles. Next up, uh, this was Jesse Cartoons. Jesse congratulations, cartoons. Jesse congratulations. Cartoons. Big thank you for joining us on today's stream. Ten more. This one goes to Invisible Space Cat. Thank you, Invisible Space Cat. <laughs> congratulations. Next up, it is Pastels. Pastels with Pas a four. Pastels with a four. Congratulations. Uh, next up, let's keep them going. Mental State Zero. Congratulations, Mental Congratulations. State Zero. Congratulations. Thank you for the vibes. Appreciate you so much. Yeah, we're giving away 38. Yeah, 38. 38. We're going to do 19 at a time. Uh -huh. This one goes to Jax3379. Congratulations, Jax. Congratulations. Thank you for the good vibes. And next up, it's it's my friend Caduceus. Caduceus, Caduceus looking good. Congratulations. Congratulations, my friend. Um, we need more, right? Yeah, but that's 14, so we need uh, five more. All right, this one goes to Grace Didim. Congratulations, Grace Didim. Congratulations. Thank you for being here. Next up, it's, it's Sandwich Nom Nom. Sandwich Nom Nom. Congratulations, Sandwich Nom Nom. Next up. It's Maxito, Maxito1507, congratulations. Two more for now. Two more for now, and, and then we'll, we'll pull... pull the next 19 on the other side of our hydration break. Beautiful, I love it. Uh, this one's gonna go out to... Ba -bum -bum -ba -bum -bum. Alivar, Alivar, congratulations. Alivar. Congratulations. And next up, it is I Aunt Leo. Nice. Congratulations. All right, so we owe you 19 stickers on the other side from Ransom Note. Big nice. thank you to everybody who supported the channel through gifted prizes. And I will make a little note here uh, and put a, a new thing up during the hydration break. Yeah. Anyone who orders a prize or wins one on today's stream is going to get two. We'll send so you one of our legacy stickers. If you won one of the prizes, make sure that you claim it today so that we know that you are included in the bonus uh, sticker group yes you'll win no matter what but if you want the bonus sticker claim it right now or, or sometime today yeah. uh before tomorrow's stream starts so that i can make sure to get you the appropriate number of stickers euphoric millie thank you for being here thank you appreciate the two months of support <laughs> and uh a reminder that tomorrow we are going to be playing alan wake until it is complete until the, we wake up from the night we're gonna wake up it's a finale and then we start a new game next saturday it's control on sundays we're playing uncharted one drake's fortune right now and next friday at noon we're gonna be doing a 480k celebration on twitch with our buddy exclamation point lo lo has got a new album released called the cosmic reverie and if you'd like to check it out, exclamation point L-O in the chat will take you there right now. It's going to be so much fun. It's going to be real nice. We'll be right back in five minutes, my friends. Get yourself a snack, some water, a hydration of any kind. And we'll see you in five. Thanks for hanging out with us. And if you came over on the raid, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. We'll see you all in five. And FL Arena, thanks for subscribing and for the gifted sub to Black Silva. Thank you, FL Arena. Thank we'll you. see you in five. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back, friends. Thank you for the awesome support. I see Zelda Llama back for 10 months Welcome already. Back, Zell. And Night Owl Mila, thank you so much. Thank you, Night uh, Owl. I appreciate the five gifted subs. Thank you. If you got one of those gift subs from Night Owl, please be sure to thank them. Appreciate you hanging out with us. Why, if it isn't that Piper Shaw. Piper Shaw. Back for five whole years. What? Wild. Five Thank you. years. Good to see you, friend. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. I, I really like that dancing dinosaur you all have there. Mm -hmm. Can I? Can I? If we had a dancing emote like that, what? What emote? What would it be? Who would dance? Who would dance like that? Who would dance? Can we do a dance. Theo dancing like that? Can we do a? Can we do an emote like? Uh, what kind of is it, Theo? Who, I mean, who could dance like that, Connor? Connor would dance. Theo mm -hmm. would. Should we talk to the doctor? Hey, Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Doctor Who stares at you. <laughs> um, hey, could we? Can I commission you to make a dancing Theo emote like that? Because that's a really cute one. Maybe we can do a little pixel arty kind of one like that guy. I know that's kind of your flavor, eh, Doctor? Mm -hmm. um, and and while we're at it, we should shout out to another one of our artists in the community! Exclamation point, Eliza! Eliza! 
We'll take you to Eliza France page. Um, doctor says, yes. All right, cool. Uh, we'll email about that after the stream, doctor. Um, but if you would like to win our new mission successful sticker by Eliza, we've commissioned Eliza to help us uh, make a little reminder to remind ourselves to celebrate our, our victories, our, yes. our little wins and our big wins. If you complete a side quest or a main story quest in your life, we hope you'll celebrate <laughs> uh, with a mission successful. Yeah. So uh, we have... Uh, 19. We have 19. Ransom Note is out there being the MVP right now. Yes. Uh, just showing some serious love to the channel and helped everybody unlock the, the bonus prizes. So on today's stream, everybody is going to win. Two stickers are going to get... Uh, the mission successful sticker, and then one of our legacy stickers, one of our a random past uh, sticker. Um, a random sticker from a the random past. Random sticker from the past, <laughs> which I thought would be kind of fun eventually to have different rarity tiers of the stickers because mm. some of them are kind of becoming more rare. Yep. Um, Shy Violet Angel, thank you for the gifted sub to Eo uh, Eo Ally Ali. Thank Eo you very much. Ali. <laughs> All right, Amelia, I need help. Yes. Getting 13. No, 19. 19. Oh, 19. my God. Dios mio. Yes. All right. Here we go. 19. Okay. So if you would like to enter yourself to win our new Mission Successful sticker, type something into the chat right now. We're going to pull 19 winners. And then we'll get back to the game. All right. Uh, I'm going to refresh because I think something's going on with my whispers. Whispers. Here we go. Look. All right, this is my favorite thing to say now. Hypergalactic Spaghetti, congratulations. You're winner number one. Congratulations. Next up, it's He Slayer. He Slayer. He Slayer, congratulations. You're winner number two. Congrats. Next up, it's my friend Lauren K. Hey, Lauren K, congrats. Great to have you here with us. Thank you for the vibes. Um, next up, it's the one in front of the gun. Ooh. The one in front of the gun, congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Um, next up, it's Dame Deviant. Oh, Dame Deviant. I love that. Yay. Hey, Dame Deviant, congratulations. That makes me happy. Enjoy a mission successful sticker, my friend. Uh, let's get a little love for our mods while we're at it. Thanks, mods. Mods, mods. Thanks, Thank Lieutenant. Thank you for your help and your support. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, where was I on the we count? We have five done so far. All right, here we go. This is for a fellorina. A fellorina. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, next up, let's keep it going. This is for Only Human WC3. Congratulations, Only Human. Congratulations. Beautiful love. Uh, here we are. Here we are. Lovely birds. This one goes to Cal Kylo. Congratulations, Cal Kylo. Congratulations. And how about Star Damage Music? Star that Damage right. Music. That's pretty good. That sounds like uh, a song on one of Logan's, uh, on Logan's new track. That does sound like a new song by Logan. He's got mm -hmm. a lot of fun song names yeah, on yeah. his new track next friday it's gonna be a concert stream with lo himself the one and only all right this one is ya mietje congratulations congrats uh-huh and how about this one for fierce crystal Ooh, congratulations fierce crystal. Fierce crystal. congratulations how about Puffles 44 love puffles 44 i love saying puffles 44 out loud there you go <laughs> Enjoy, Puffles. Congratulations. Congratulations. This one goes to Thanos. Thanos. There it is, Thanos. <laughs> Thanos actually won the first one, but I had to wait a second because uh, my whispers got weird. If you're like, why did you just message me hi? Um, you're welcome, hi. Puffles. You're welcome. Uh, hi, what's up? Doing a stream? Um, where are we? Do I need more? I've had 13, so we need... Six more. Six more. All right, this one goes to Sorrel Spiral. Congratulations, Congratulations, Sorrel. Sorrel. How about this? Uh, F. Dana. F or F. Dana 4. Congratulations. F. Dana, congratulations. I love it. How about Nessie, my friend Nessie 163. Nessie, congratulations. congratulations. Thank you, Nessie. And Ekbar. Ekbar. Ekbar 2327. Congratulations. Two Dos más. Um, we're going to go for a friend name. Oh, if it's not Fruit Peels. Fruit Peels. Congratulations, Fruit Peels. One more. One more is Night Owl Mila. Congratulations, Yay, Night congratulations. Owl. Congratulations. All right, beautiful. And thank you again, Ransom Note, for literally blowing it out of the water. Just yeah. Brrr, 
That was epic. Full up to the top. And uh, only human, WC3. Thank you for being here for three months. All right, so we're going to jump back in. Um, maybe we could do a speed recap because we're going into act three. Okay. The game doesn't give us uh, previously on recaps. So uh, the short version, Amelia, who are you and what's happening? We play as Grace. We're now a muse, and we sing in the spaces of the world to make people think good things. However, murder has been here, and now we have to decide and figure out who is the killer. Who, who is, is the, the killer? killer? Who, who is, is the, the killer? killer? Who, who is, is the killer? killer? And Freddy, Freddy might have died, but maybe not. I'm hoping it's just a figment of our imagination, you yeah, know? Some... Freddy is our best friend. Ooh, she's our best friend. Hey, Neats. Neats. Thank you so much for the gifts of group hug. Oh, thank you, Neats. We offer you a hug. <laughs> thank you. We send you some love. Thank you for joining. I'm not happy about Freddy either. I don't believe it's true. I, I don't believe it. I. She may be dead, but we do have magic. We do have magic. There's some magic around. We could probably figure it out. Who is the killer? Who, who is, is the, the killer? killer? Who is, is the, the killer? killer? Who, who is, is the, the killer? killer? I think it's Athena. I mean, if who, who? <gasps> it could be the owl that's been looking at us. Who, who, who is the owl? Who, who is Athena's owl? I'm just saying, anything can happen here. Hey, Lo the Music Man. Hey. <laughs> Hello, friend. Lo. Friends, Lo the Music Man is here in stream in right now. In the chat. But next Friday, he will be here in person because he's coming to share his brand new full album next week. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah. Who is the killer? Who, who is, is the, the killer? killer? Who is, is the, the killer? killer? Who, who is, is the, the killer? killer? All right, let's blow this thing out of the water. Let's get this case closed, team. Okay, okay. Freddy's not dead. <laughs> I don't Grace, believe it. Sorry. I know what Freddie meant to you. Left her there. We left her there. I can't believe we left her there. Feels bad. Yeah. We couldn't have taken her with us. Hecate will. She'll take care of her. Oh, he's going to come back to God. Care of her. Grayson. Is that what happened to Calliope? Was she attacked by the Furies as you were? Yeah. She meant to use the mirror, but she never had the chance before. Before they came. The Furies. Sent by the same person, I imagine. Who commands the Furies? Who could send the Furies after me? Even Hecate had no idea who possessed that kind of power. Even in our prime, none of the idols had the Furies at our beck and call. I mean, perhaps Zeus, but he's long gone. I honestly didn't know the Furies still existed. Clearly someone can do it. I mean, uh, unless they weren't sent. Unless they were responding to something else, something you'd done unwittingly. I'm sorry, I, I'm afraid your guess is as good as mine. All right, clarify these Furies for me. What, 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 what are these what Furies? What are the Furies? They didn't seem like people. They're not. Hecate called them embodiments of retribution, and I suppose that's the best description. They go back to <laughs> well, the time before my memory. I was once told they were created to enforce the most ancient laws. There are ancient laws now? Decrees one couldn't break, written in blood. Laws Dude. even idols abided by in the days of old Olympus. But those surely died with Zeus. Even if they hadn't, you can't have broken any. They're not easy to overlook. Yeah, well, why did the Furies stop if they, why did they stop? I mean, it's just it was our favorite Freddy and everything. Furies are so powerful. Why did they stop? They just stabbed Freddy and left. 
They're not assassins, Grace. They're enforcers of the old laws. I imagine they decided the debt was paid, whatever it was, when blood was spilled. The blood didn't have to be yours. So if Freddy hadn't interfered... Then they would have come after you. And they wouldn't have stopped until they were through. Not ever. Calliope trying to do? I know Calliope was there to use the mirror. But it was just feeling. I don't... I still don't understand why. Well, apparently she wanted to speak to the fates. Yeah, okay, but why? The fates are primordial beings, like the Furies. They're said to control destiny. Perhaps Calliope wished to know her destiny. Or change it. I'm not sure. Fates that powerful? Can these fates really control the future? They're tied into fate, as I am. Perhaps they're even where my power stems from, or how Hecate's books are written. So someone really didn't want Calliope messing with that? Or you, apparently. Could it have been the fates? Maybe they don't like being called on now for anything. I doubt it. If they didn't want to answer the mirror, I'm certain they simply wouldn't. I don't know what to do. We still have no idea why Calliope wanted to talk to the Fates. Why not ask them? <laughs> oh? You too have caused quite the stir. Hecate is beside herself and Athena is out of her mind. Well done. How long have you been listening? Long enough to know that you need another way to speak to the Fates, unless you're planning on trying the Reliquary again. No, not a chance. We'll find the truth on our own, Persephone. <laughs> or she could help. <laughs> if you sent Grace to wander about looking for Calliope's memories, you're already out of options. Uh, How come you got all sparkly when Persephone walked in? I don't know. I like her. Yeah. 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 What, what are you? What other way? Wait. What? What's this about some other way? What are you talking about, Persephone? May I explain it to Grace, or do you have another option, Apollo? If so, now's the time. I thought not. The Fates will respond to the ruler of Hades, the true underworld and realm of the dead. What I propose is that we go there and take back the throne that was stripped from me. Damn! Whoa. We're taking on Hades now? You know, I thought, wasn't Hades dead? How does one find this throne? You can overthrow Hades? Is that Hades? something we can do? Just go to the land of the dead and uh, overthrow it? Truth be told, there isn't much to overthrow. Few mortals still believe in Hades, and thus its halls have been nearly empty for eons. So how do you... The throne itself is the key, both symbolically and literally. Claim it, and Hades is yours. But you can't claim it because you're barred from Hades. By a rule that we would need to break were we to do this, yes. <laughs> okay, all right, so maybe we, if we go to Hades, then maybe we find Freddy in the afterworld. All right, how do you find the how throne? How do we get to Hades? Do we need a key like the reliquary? Athena took my key and the entrance at Lake Avernus was sealed long ago, which leaves only Hermes. They won't take you. They might, if you ask them to. So your promise to help Grace was an empty one? Step up! For once! And do what she needs you to do. Get us there. I'll lead us to the throne, and Grace can speak with the fates. It's simple. Let's be kick-ass in. Let's go get Freddy back. What? Okay, I just want to know what everyone's thinking. Wait! We'd be breaking a rule? No. No, we're gonna break rules. We're deviants around here, team. Press X to be kick-ass and jump in. We gotta get to Hades. This is, I mean, obviously Persephone is worth following. Yeah. Slash doing whatever she wants us to do. All slash right. we'll do like- Do it! Okay. okay, here we go. No need to keep selling me on it, I'm in. You are? Yeah. I need to punch something really hard. Or, <laughs> Overthrow hell. I'm good with yeah. either of those things. Let's overthrow hell, team. You see, that 
is what a backbone looks like. I can't. I'm sorry, but this is a step too far. Dude, you never overthrow hell with us. Grace's mortal friend was slain by the Furies. According to the old laws, her soul is in Hades. See? Wait, wait. Give me my Freddy pack. What does that mean? Hold on, wait. What does that mean? If her soul is in Hades, then... It means the ruler of Hades can release her. That's assuming everything remained as it was. Fine. I'll get you into Hades. But I'm not going with you. Yeah, he's in! By all means. It's fine, Hermes. Get this over with. Dun, 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 Ali, dun, dun, thanks dun, for the cheers. Dun, dun. Yo! <laughs> I feel so rebellious. You are so rebellious. Mm -hmm. Eccentric Giraffe is back for 57 months, saying this year has flown by. I it know. Ha it has. It's kind of mind-numbing that it's already August. Yeah. Whew. Mm -hmm. Big love to our mods. Thank you, mod team. Thank you, lieutenants. Thank you. And friendly Sarah, welcome back for seven months. We appreciate your support, everybody. All right. Into Hades we go. Well... I'm First stop, Hermes. Shall I wait here, or...? No, no. I'm not gonna lie to them. Hermes has always treated me fairly. Oh, hey, if it isn't Apollo and Grace, and, um, Persephone. Wow, uh, the whole gang, huh? I'm afraid <laughs> I have to call in that favor. I need you to take Grace and Persephone to Hades. Oh, man, I don't know... Athena specifically <laughs> said I wasn't supposed to take anyone, you know? No matter what. Oh, this is pointless. They're never gonna help us, Apollo. Can I ask what's going on? Nobody ever tells me anything, and you want me to get in huge trouble, but for what? Uh... You yeah. won't be in trouble! You okay. won't be in trouble! I You'll mean, be kicking ass with us! it's the last piece of the puzzle. It's the last piece it's of the puzzle, the dude. the only way to find out why Calliope was trying to contact the Fates. The Fates? There's something going on, Hermes. I'm at the edge of it. But without the Fates, I'll never know the truth. And that means going to Hades, with or without Athena's permission. Okay. Yes! Signal when you need to come back. You sure? Yeah, feels like the right thing. Be careful, Grace. And In the straight up trunk of a car? That's how we get to Hades? Up its shades cool. without a price. I think I can tell her the rules, Apollo. Let's go. Welcome to the real underworld. <sighs> wow. It feels so empty. So lonely. It's not completely empty. Neither is the throne, for that matter. Bitter shade named Orpheus has been squatting on it since my exile. I fully expect he'll be waiting for us. Y'all know Orpheus, right? Who is Orpheus? For anyone who doesn't who know, he's a musician. Orpheus. He lost his love. Familiar. It should. His is a popular tale among mortals regarding how he once came to the underworld to retrieve his love, Eurydice, and left with nothing. <sighs> Hades tricked him, you see. And with Hades dead, the blame has evidently fallen to me. So he's not a fan of yours? <laughs> he is not a fan, no. Not that it matters. So, to clarify, he went to Hades to retrieve his love, Eurydice. And Orpheus was given uh, Eurydice and permission to leave Hades with her on the condition that he did not look back at her until they had left the underworld. And he got just to the very edge of Hades and he was about to return to the mortal realm 
when there was something in him that doubted Hades and he wanted to just do a quick double check, he looked over his shoulder and they both turned Ash. No. and sucked back into Hades again. Now they're both trapped there. Oh, uh, so tragic. Sounds exciting. So there's going to be a fight? Good. I need something to punch. Uh, don't get too excited, Grace. Orpheus is hardly a worthy foe. Really? Even though he took your throne? Uh, he took an empty throne after I left. That does not make him a king. Just someone else that's in my way. But Orpheus was a great musician of his way, time. You mean? Yes, in our way. Let's go. Okay, so there's an angry ghost sitting on your throne. Anything else about this trip you've neglected to mention? Come, it's time to cross the sticks. It's really interesting imagery, you know, of the, the idea of these these great worlds that because people have stopped believing the in them have fallen to ruin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. It will come soon. As we are not dead, you will need to convince him you are worthy of passage. State your case clearly and with determination. Uh, uh. I am Persephone, also known as Despoina and Core Sotiera, once queen of the underworld, and shall be again. No, Caron, I did not bring you any cards. I am not here to entertain you. Hey there! I'm Grace, uh, idol, and last of the muses. Is that enough? No, more confidence. Yeah, I'm more confident. Of course she's a muse. Why would she lie about such a thing? Ah, <sighs> he says he's always liked the muses and that you're very pretty. No, no, she didn't. Neither of us brought games to play with you, Caron. Stop asking. Find something to play. Oh, I'm sure we can come up with something to amuse him. <laughs> See? You don't even need to interpret that for me. Yes, what fun. <laughs> Thank you for encouraging him. Let's get underway, Caron. It's a long ride to the throne room. Oh, her eyes are glowy. We're gonna sing. Maybe not. Oh, that looks so sad. I wouldn't touch that. Way too much for you. Overload. Every story, every memory winds up here in the water I used to dream that this river would rise, swallow the
for Freddy, too. I killed the king fair and square. They had no right to take it from me. I don't know much about suffering. You've seen your life disappear. I lost a friend if I could find her again. to meet a muse. There's someone singing with us. That would be Orpheus. Is he a muse? Oh, he's so much more than that. Someone's We coming. might have a problem. A wolf is waiting in the gym. This bard's already Someone's dead. Coming. But you can defeat him. I can feel them howling at with the moon. my help. Don't forget where we came here. There's a name here I won't forget that reeks But you of can bet he knows someone's, someone's coming. coming It's about time, Persephone Orpheus, I've been... What happened to the music? <laughs> I have been waiting for you, Persephone For so long And you brought a muse Hi Lovely tune, by the way. Can't remember the last time I collaborated with someone so talented. No offense, Ben. Hey. <laughs> to my underworld. Let me treat you to a song. A welcome gift. I have the floor. It is mine, after all. Muse. Any requests? Questions? My friend is dead. Can you help me? Mm. Mm -hmm. Loop. Mm -hmm. The river keeps secrets deep in the water. How far do you sink till you're buried below? I challenged the fates and found my Eurydice. But you had to kill her and I won't let it go. Asking the wrong person. I hear your torment and your suffering. They made your love disappear. I lost a friend. If I can find her again, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. Morpheus, you're here for you. Stubborn. This is when you say you're certain you had no control But I saw you smiling when your husband condemned my soul The throne was stolen After I murdered the king You should be grateful And thank me for everything And yet you scream Like a boy you kick the ground Eurydice is gone because you did nothing. Orpheus, there was nothing I could do. I saw your whispers poison behind your king. It wasn't me. If I cannot have my revenge, you're the next best thing. His bark is louder than anyone's bite. And he's no match for your godly might. You're right, killing is so unbecoming. That's never stopped you before. I did what I had to. Bard. As do I, my former queen. As do I. You should stop hurting each other now. We should find out if Freddy is near. We'll get to that grace. Where's my friend? We have to find her again. That's why I Both 
You're right. Yet, what about the throne? We can't just leave it empty, can we? What should we do? Should we take it for ourselves, Or should we destroy it? If we destroy it. I mean... I mean, I don't really want it myself. Do, do we really want the throne of the underworld? I personally do not. I personally, like, I don't need it. Well, so we're gonna destroy let's it. destroy it. All right. <laughs> All that going around in circles, digging up old wounds, and for what? So you can fight over a chair. There. Whoa! You dare. What gives you the right to interfere in this manner? That throne was not yours to break. Hey, branching narrative, babe! We don't make the rules! It was worthless, I had to do something, or I'm sorry. No, we're not immediately sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> Destroy you know the throne worthless? of the underworld and back off? No. Look around you, Persephone. Hades is empty. That chair you wanted so badly, <laughs> it doesn't matter anymore. It mattered to me. I paid for that throne with tears and blood, Grace. With years of humiliation you know nothing about. I thought we could help each other, but no. No, you would rather lecture me. Oh no! Because it's gonna be difficult to patch things up with Persephone. So what's your plan now, Grace? I assume you must have one after that big demonstration. Nah, nah, we just, we just, we just, you guys were arguing no, over it and stressed us out. We, we need to go to the fates. We need to have a plan, otherwise she's gonna get really mad. So how about we need to go to the fates or I'm gonna find Freddy. We're gonna find Freddy. But first we're gonna see the fates. Freddy-centric solutions here. Freddy, your fates! Freddy! You Freddy. said Freddy was here, right? Then we should be able to find her. We just need to look. Let's say you do. Okay, what then? You expect to walk out of Hades with her spirit in tow? Why yeah. not? It would've worked for Orpheus if he hadn't looked back, right? <laughs> <laughs> you don't get it, do you? There, There is no way to free someone from the land of the dead. Not for Orpheus, and certainly not for you. Damn. And the fates? <laughs> Even if you could contact them, Grace, I assure you, they simply wouldn't care. So you lied to us? See, that's it? That's it, then. We came here for nothing. I doubt the fates would have responded even to the mirror, Grace. And the boundaries of death cannot be commanded away. Not even by the ruler of Hades. Then... Then what is this throne good for? Just a fancy chair? Bragging rights? At the very least, I had hoped we might find your friend's spirit. Why? We can't bring her back. Not without great sacrifice, no. No, the rules of death are clear. Yet, you might have spoken to her. I... I know what it's like not to get the chance to say goodbye. Gonna have to replay the game, I guess. Hey. <laughs> oh, hey! You're here! Yeah. Yeah. I've actually been watching you since you arrived. It's not like there's much else going on. <laughs> Fred, I... No, no. Don't even start, Grace. I made my decision. I don't regret it one bit. I 
I do? I want to go back. I want it all to go back. It's not supposed to end like this. This isn't the end. Hey, it's, it's not by a long shot. You still have a whole story to finish. Without you? Yeah. Without me. I don't want to. <laughs> well, I don't blame you. I happen to be really good company. I guess this is it, huh? Almost. I found someone while I was down here. Someone you really need to meet. Calliope? This... You you can't be real. You, your soul is inside Grace. My Idols don't. Is inside Grace. The rest of me. I'm here. You're inside me. And this is real. We need to know what happened to you, Calliope. How did you die? Why didn't you come to me? If you were in trouble, I would have protected you. I know you would have. But I couldn't let you be drawn into Apollo's prophecy as well. Apollo's prophecy? He didn't tell you? No. I don't suppose he could have. It's a long story. Lots of time. I don't know about you, but I have all the time in the world. <sighs> okay, yeah, bad joke. But I really do need to hear this. Apollo delivered, with great reluctance, a prophecy that said I needed to die. And who did he deliver this prophecy to? Athena. No. Then she sent the Furies after me when I went to the Reliquary. I barely escaped. I fled back to the mortal world. To you. Why did you go to the Reliquary? Why did you go to the Reliquary? We know about the mirror, but... You wanted to annul the prophecy. And the Fates are the only ones who could. If they would even help me. I doubted it, but I was desperate. I never got the chance to ask. Someone told Athena where I was going, and... She must have realized what I meant to do. But uh, how did she get the Furies to attack you? They aren't pets. You didn't break any of the old laws. I don't know. Maybe it's something the ruler of the idols can do. But you'd have to ask Athena. <gasps> You went to Pan for the key? You went to Pan for the key to the reliquary, right? Yes. He's the reason I knew about Nyx's mirror, actually. He told me about it... long ago. He told Medusa where you went. She, I expect, told Athena. Oh. Pan couldn't have known what it would mean. I didn't explain. That's it. You forgive him, just like that. I knew I'm I liked sure him. he feels guilty enough. Tell me about prophecy. Apollo hates using his power. Why would he have given a prophecy to Athena? Because she demanded it. She was desperate. How did you even find out? Apollo was horrified after he delivered the prophecy, and he refused to stay silent. And he came to warn me. He was torn. Telling me meant I was locked into it. I still think he did the right thing. Though I expect he disagrees. What did the prophecy say? What was the prophecy? Surely I need to hear it. If I tell you, you'll be locked into it. Just like me. But the prophecy doesn't just say you have to die. There's more to it, right? They always require interpretation. Apollo told Athena that. 
He begged her not to jump to conclusions, but maybe she was right. Is it about me too? It doesn't just involve you, does it? It involves me. It must, or you wouldn't hesitate. <sighs> Athena wanted to know if there was a way to save the idols. The answer was this. The idols cannot continue so long as the last muse lives. And I'm the last muse. And now you know the prophecy. Why me? Why come to me? Of all the places you could have run to, why come to my apartment? Because I was dying. But I couldn't save you. I barely even knew you. I was wandering the streets that night, wondering if I should go to the reliquary or just flee. And I heard you singing. I followed you home after to see where you lived. I didn't know what would happen to me, but I thought, just in case, I knew I had to hold out until I reached you. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. None of this was your fault. How dare you drag me in? Or you didn't give me a choice? I mean, all of this is true. I mean, at least thank you because some someone's telling us yeah, something. Yeah, thank you. For what it's worth, thank you. You're thanking me? You gave me a gift, Calliope. Everything that happened afterwards, it wasn't your fault. Thank you for saying that, Grace. Truly. Athena will pay. Athena will pay. Or do you blame Athena? Apollo should yeah, have told let's us. Let's check that she yeah, blames yeah. Athena. Do you blame? Do you blame Athena for what she did? She wanted to save the idols. And I wanted that too. Well, I blame her, and Apollo, for not telling us what she'd done. If he had, Grace would have been locked into the same fate as Calliope. We... we... we don't know that. Now. I have to go back. I have no idea what will happen. None of this seems real. Song! So many years of history Fights the highest miseries I'm so
Big day in the underworld. You've returned. And I see Freddy isn't with you. I'm so sorry, Grace. Did you at least get to speak to the fates? No. Then what happened? Found Calliope. Then found her. We found Calliope. Calliope, but her eidolon is inside you. How it doesn't work like that. The eidolon is only a part of an idol. The rest just. Calliope told us what happened. The prophecy. How you warned her. How you've been lying to us. You knew. You knew the truth this entire time. Even when you said you were helping Grace. Yes. Yes, I did. Tell me everything. Is there more you haven't told me? Did you know about the Furies as well? No. I didn't know how Calliope died. But you knew Athena was behind it. I thought I could nudge you in the right direction. Help you find the truth without learning about the prophecy. Well, you failed. We know it now. Then it's done. You're locked into it. Isn't the prophecy open to interpretation? Couldn't you be wrong about how it ends? When am I not wrong, Grace? We don't know you well enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Leave. It's what you're best at. I don't know how this will affect your trial. We could tell them what we've learned. Even without proof, it makes enough sense that Athena couldn't just brush it off. But if she believes you need to die in order to save the idols, if she truly believes that, it won't matter what anyone says. Do you think the prophecy could be true? That in order for the idols to live... It didn't say live. It said continue. That word bothers me. Athena seems pretty certain what it means. Athena sees what she wants. I don't know that I agree with her. And I won't just give in like Apollo. When you go to the trial, I'll back your play, up to and including overthrowing Athena. Calliope would approve. But what about- Just so you understand, our chances aren't good. I suggest you do whatever necessary to prepare. Whoosh. Great. All right, so we got some options here, team. Mm. We can confront Pan, confront Persephone, or confront Apollo. What do y'all think? Maybe we should take a moment. And Melonzit2, thank you for being here and subscribing. And Guinea Bees, welcome back for hey. 45 months. Good morning, Guinea Bees. Thanks for joining us. What do y'all think? Pan? Yeah, my thought was Pan. We could confront them all. Pan, Pan, Pan. All right, let's start with Pan. Very good. A very good place to start. Let's go. Uh, Pan? Are you here? Pan! All right, then. Guess I'll just head off. I thought you didn't want to see me anymore. You're not here to yell at me, are you? Do we want to talk? Do we want to apologize? Do we want to say we're, I'm, we're not a lost cause? Maybe a bit? Just talk, yeah. You know, no, I talk. just wanted to talk. Oh. Now you've got my ears quivering, Grace. Whatever could we have to discuss? 
need your help or I know you're innocent. One of these two for me. Innocent or help? Innocent! I know you weren't behind Calliope's murder. Oh, <laughs> then you've learned something, haven't you? Hey, technical freckle! Hey, come on in, raiders! Welcome, welcome! Something not exactly pleasant. I see. Isn't that always the way? Care to tell me what it is? It's been said I can be a fine listener. I might even have some advice. One never knows. All right, uh, for anyone who is just joining us, thank you so much, Technical Freckle, for the raid. Uh, we are playing a game called Stray Gods, which is a role-playing musical with a branching narrative. And uh, we are playing as Grace. We've just found out a huge prophecy um, and we are basically learning that in order for the, the gods' idols to continue, the last muse must die. And that's unfortunate because Grace, us, that's, yeah, are the That's last really muse. bad news for us to hear. Yeah, yeah. Erin Gray, thank you for the gifted sub to Technical Freckle. Appreciate that. So we're going to, this is Pan. Should we tell him everything? Yeah. Tell him everything. Everything. Okay, where do I begin? Made to bark. Well, of course it was Athena. Wait, you knew? No, how could I? Hmm, so what now? Flee the city. What? I know people who know people. I, I could take you. If we went far enough, even Athena might... might let you go. You don't sound convinced... You don't sound very sure of that. No. No, I don't. Ugh, I'm not good at this part. Which part? This. Regret. Being a survivor means you get used to doing things you... would rather not. And you just get numb over time? It doesn't sound like much fun. Sometimes. Effective, though. Sure. If surviving is all you care about. Do consider my offer. There's no reason for you to go to trial quietly. Like a good little girl. I'm gonna fight! I'm not. I intend to fight. Because that's what I do. Alright. Well, before we go confront either Persephone or Apollo, I gotta say we gotta give some prizes because that's what I do. Oh. And thank you to Lula the Lunatic. Saying, hey, O'Brien and Amelia, I am home from summer job in Greece. Oh, wow. And I had such an amazing time, experienced so much, and I'm in such a positive mindset that everything uh, I have needs to be passed on to everyone with the new sticker. Oh, my gosh. So sending good love from Lula the Lunatic, who gives six prizes. Lula! Thank you. That sounds Thank like you. an epic summer job. Oh yeah. my gosh. What an amazing trip. I'm glad you're so, so rejuvenated. Cool. That's awesome. And uh, also, uh, because we have crossed over 40 sticker prizes on today's stream, everybody who wins today is going to win uh, a bonus sticker, one of our Legacy Pass stickers coming along with their beautiful new mission successful sticker. Nice. Made by exclamation point Eliza Frantz in the chat. Eliza. All right, help me pull six winners here, Amelia, okay. and then we'll go confront Persephone or Apollo. Let us know. You can use yeah. your typing uh, entry. Should we go to Persephone or Apollo next? Let us know. Where are Where we do headed? We go? Who All do right. we talk to? What do we do? What, what will we, we say do? to... Timbuktu. What do we say to Timbuktu? Okay, I'm seeing lots of Apollo, 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 Persephone, Apollo, 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 Apollo. Okay. All right. We shall go. To that Apollo. sounds appropriate. <laughs> the winner is Sedrata. Sedrata. 
Cedrata! Congratulations, Cedrata. You're winner number one. Congrats. Let's pull out some more winners here. It's Yellow Stark. Ooh, Yellow Stark. Congratulations, Congratulations. Yellow Stark. All of our winners are going to get whispers from us with instructions on how to claim your prize. Your whisper is up above next to the notification thing. And uh, yeah, check it out. Make sure you put in your full address so that your sticker can make it successfully to you. Here we go, Koala Dumpling 7. Uh, yeah, Koala Congratulations, Dumpling. Congratulations, Koala Dumpling. Thank you for your support. Uh, next up, it is Footballistic. Ooh, Footballistic 97. Congratulations, Footballistic 97. All right, we two need more. two more now. Thank you, friends, for being here and typing. This one goes to uh, Rug Fan. Oh, Rug Fan. Congratulations, Rug Fan. <laughs> and next up, it is... Carrot seven seven six. Congratulations. Congratulations! Big thank you to oh. all of our winners. Uh, ah! 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 Why? 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 L why? Oh. Light. That was weird. That was very weird. <laughs> Let's continue. <Okay. laughs> light was like, what about me? What's going on with that light? Alan Wake? Oh God! Oh Not no! Tomorrow. That's tomorrow. Tomorrow's Alan Wake. Tomorrow's Alan Wake. All right, we're gonna confront. Apollo. Get to the man of prophecy. House. Oh, it's you. Paul comes in, mopier than his usual mopey self, and won't say a word about why. But of course, it's you. That bad, huh? I'm not surprised. He left my place pretty upset. You know, I knew it when I saw you. That girl's gonna be trouble. But does he listen? No. Look, I'm not stupid. I don't buy into this god crap, but I know Paul and the rest of you are not on the right side of normal. Jesus. Even so, Paul is a good guy. Leave him alone. He doesn't want to talk to you. It's all right, Oracle. I think Grace and I need a moment alone, if you please. Oh, sure. Don't mind me. So I I was solemn. In the middle of anything. I know how Persephone feels, but not you. You'd have every right to be furious with me. I mean, we're not. We're kind of worried about you, dude. Honestly, you're like so solemn all the time. He's just, yeah. he's just so. We're concerned morose. about you. So you've said. I'm more worried about you, actually. Worried about me. After all you've been through. I lost. Yeah, you're just doing this pretty boy frontman thing. I can't lose anyone else. When I first became Apollo, I was so sure I could help people. Help the world. I ignored the warnings. You have no idea how many lives I ruined before I stopped. I never should have given in to Athena. This one time, I thought that maybe, maybe it will be different. Maybe it will be. Well, couldn't it be? You said yourself, prophecies don't always work the way you think they will. No, that's true. I did say that. I hope you can forgive me, Grace. I hope that one day we'll be as close friends as you were with Calliope. I guess all that remains is the trial. Whatever happens, Grace, I'll be standing right there by you. Thank you. Definitely wasn't his fault. He was trying to not tell us the prophecy so that we wouldn't get yeah, locked yeah, into it. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I, I get it. I mean, what a, what a terrible curse to be the one who has to dole out right. prophecy. Do we want to talk to Persephone or do we want, I mean, it says confront. 
We want to confront Persephone or we want to go to the auditorium and begin this thing? Let's go for it all. Let's go to Persephone. All right, Perseph. Honey. Come on. Did you forget something, Grace? It felt like we hadn't quite finished our conversation. It seemed pretty finished to me. What more is there to discuss? Are you okay? How about you? Are you okay? Oh, I am many miles from okay, Grace. Don't you want to talk about it? Calliope would not have approved of the way I acted, <laughs> but then she seldom did. It was so good to see her in Hades, to have her say she forgives me. Just wish it were as easy to forgive myself. Well, I forgive you, if that makes it any easier. You forgive me? I should be the one forgiving you! Well, do you? I... Uh, <laughs> fine. Yes, if that's what you want, yes. Is it any easier out there? Do you miss being a mortal, Grace? A week. <laughs> it's been a week, Persephone. If I live past the trial, I'll let you know. Yes, the trial. It's a whole thing, I hear. Whatever happens, Calliope will approve of us defying Athena. Nice. Day eight, nowhere else to go. This is our last chance to speak to anyone before the trial, and we talk to everybody, so let's get to the trial. To, to, to the trial. To, to, the, to the community building. <laughs> it is time. So this is it. All your new friends have lied to you, but somehow they're gonna get you through the trial, right? I wish Freddy were here. Like a boat lost at sea With no sails, not a breeze I am drifting cold waters, no star to be seen. I'll embrace the fire as it burns deep inside, bright enough to guide me an ocean defied. But as I burn. Turned away one by one In the end am I alone Like a boat lost at sea With no sails, no breeze I am drifting cold water No star
Everyone is already waiting for you on Olympus. Need to talk, or is this our Olympus? Athena, we really need to talk. Like, right now. <laughs> There's nothing left to talk about, Grace. Whatever you have to say, you can say it at the trial. Welcome to Old Olympus, dear. Bringing me out! <laughs> <laughs> Is this... a real place? It's the memory of a real place, which for us is the same thing. Let's begin, shall we? Call it Old Olympus? <laughs> Rug fan, that's hilarious. Welcome to Old Olympus. <laughs> it's my kind of comedy. Brothers. Sisters. Everyone, look around you. We few who remain fled to this new land to escape the war, but we are not out of danger. I waited to tell you until I was certain, and now I am. The idols are dying. It will not be long before even our immortality deserts us. The time for extreme measures has arrived. Such as murder? Murder? Did you do murders? Extreme measures, such as murder. Would you yeah. sacrifice idols to save them, Athena? Seems counterproductive, doesn't it? It is not unknown for a physician to cut off a limb in order to save the patient. Oh, that's what you are? The heroic doctor? Out to heal the poor, sick idols? I am trying to save us! I will do anything and everything in my power and beyond to save us from extinction. You'll do anything? Tell them. Let them know what that anything includes. Tell them about the prophecy Apollo gave you, and how you've interpreted it. The idols cannot continue so long as the last muse lives. Isn't that how it goes? It's true. We all know the truth. We spoke to Calliope in Hades. She told us how you sent the Furies after her. She... You couldn't have. Yes, I could. There's more to an idol than just the Eidolon. Maybe you even knew that once, but you've forgotten it. Just like all the idols have. You don't know everything, Athena. No, no, no. I do not accept this. You, you, you are lying. You're the one who's been lying. 
Or would you like to explain to the idols how you murdered Calliope based on a vague prophecy? Tell them. In song! Yes, it's me. I knew it! <laughs> it's me. Of course, it's me. I knew it! The one who gets it done. Don't you see? It had to be. <laughs> Got the fish, then you cry hooray once it's on the dish. That's how we do this. Yes, we, yes, you and me. I have always cared for you. I'll always do all these things for you. These idols down Time from up above. You played your puppet show. You called it love. Athena, trick. did you know this you're turning them to Sorry, little bird. Time to bring your deck. Leave her alone. She's not where the disease is. You want a tumor? <laughs> Cut out me, sis. Won't get a fight here. No shining night here. I'm only here for the dance. And I don't want to dance with blood on my hands. I know you're feeling shame, but this is too much. None of you see. You want to make the call, you need to hold the map, you cloistered children. It's time for you and all who stand with you. Yes, you too. You'll feel regret I know you know I'm right You feel it deep inside If I stop now, Olympus is wrecked Cause and effect Who will I'm stand? not ready. <laughs> Who will stand beside you? Asterion, Asterion, our, 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 our little minotaur bud. I choose Asterion. We choose Asterion? I mean... I, I can't handle this. What a sweet eternity. Grace on. I just meant to say your great grace and I'm with you or I'm not with you I'm just Summon Medusa you know what I mean
Of course it's me Because of me This prophecy Would come to be My Olympus is gone And you're wrong Looking on At her stranger shouted Athena you be strong be strong no cost is great enough it was wrong I was wrong I was wrong and now I don't know what the right thing is I'm sure she deserves it no 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 it your time as leader is over we forgive you. talking forever we're done yes and so you're in charge now I'm guessing for the moment but it appears we're about to have a repeat of what happened in Hades what does that mean perhaps you should explain pan it was your notion after all uh... <laughs> It's not that complicated, really. We're going to disband the Chorus. Not only that, we have decided to reveal ourselves to the mortal world. You're planning Ooh. to tell everyone what we really are? <laughs> Isn't that risky? Life is full of risks, my dear. Some of us will go into hiding, but for the rest of us, no more rules. No more living in the shadows. It's done. What about Athena? She can't be okay with this. Would you believe she said, whatever your decision, I will abide by it? Dare say I almost fainted. That's a switch. <laughs> the fight's just not in her anymore. She was so certain she was doing the right thing. Oh, now that's an old tune. Now we'll see how long this new Athena lasts. You all agree to this? No argument? No argument? Grace, you know us. We cannot order lunch without a good argument. 
Wasn't it you, Grace, who said we should stop living in the past? Well, sure, but I didn't think you were listening. We are listening. To you, to Calliope. A little late, perhaps, but here we are. Calliope would definitely approve. I have a few thoughts as to how you could go about revealing yourselves. Oh? If there's time, we could prepare a campaign. A campaign? You make it sound like preparing for battle. It is, kinda. The idols would be stars before you know it. If you're famous enough, there's only so much that can be done to you. Now that is a marvelous idea indeed. I know there's a great deal left to be done, but if you all wouldn't mind, I'd like a moment alone with Grace. We'll be outside. Make it quick. Can we get Freddy back? <laughs> No, it feels wrong. Feels kind of empty. Feels kind of like we're missing Freddy. Well, congratulations are in order, are they not? You've survived and proved me entirely wrong. I said I would. You should never have doubted me. You are quite right. You know, it's a lot harder to gloat when you agree with me. Oh, very well. I still can't believe you succeeded. It defies all expectations. I really think I must have dreamed the entire experience. That's better. And also, how dare you? I meant what I sang. I am not a good man. If Athena had taken me up on my offer, the idols would have been better off. But I can try to be better. You make me want to try. No more lies? Then you'll need to try pretty hard. I don't want any more lies. Not even lies by omission. I shall be as open and forthright as an unclever child. I'm serious. I can be many things, Grace. Even earnest. As long as it means you'll still dance with me from time to time. Hmm. I think I can manage that. Ready to face the music? One more time. Always. Two months later! Of course you're all here. In my apartment. Why wouldn't you be? We were waiting for you. I thought, what's the first thing Grace would like to see when she returns home? The answer was obvious. Me. How does it feel to be the idol spokesperson appearing on every newscast, reputable and otherwise? I'm exhausted. The Oracle has been keenly following your progress. She records every appearance, every interview. She may be your biggest fan. The way she talks, you'd think she never doubted who you were. Well, at least she's been of great help to your online campaign. Personally, I still can't believe they haven't rounded us up yet for dissection. It helps that most people think the idols are some kind of stunt. Everyone here has also been busy. Would you like to hear the latest? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How's Athena doing? <laughs> on vacation for the Athena? first time? It's been a while. The revelation of the idols to the mortal world went far better than she could have dreamed. I... I think it shook her. Well, she was wrong about a great many things. As the goddess of wisdom, that's not an easy realization. So she left. Back to the old world. If she wanted to punish herself, she could have nailed herself to a pair of boards like any other martyr. Back to the mm. old world? It's a long way to travel by herself. Well, I asked her to go. There's so many of us who went missing during the war. The idols going public might bring them out of hiding. Athena wanted to leave, and this gave her a purpose. We'll see if anything comes of it. Back to old Olympus. Is there any word yet on Aphrodite and Eros? They left the city a while ago. 
Arrow sent word, yes. Uh, Aphrodite has started uh, a spiritual retreat in the mountains? Let's call it a cult. Whatever it is, he says it's been helping her. Being the goddess of love to the world once more has at last brought her peace. Oh, Quite good. possibly she missed being adored by the masses. Who wouldn't really? I thought for sure they'd go into hiding. Aphrodite fears mortals more than any other idol, doesn't she? Hence why she surrounded herself with only those who shower her with adoration. As I recall, sister, you also headed several cults across the centuries. The Eleusinian mysteries weren't about shoring up my ego, Apollo. What about Venus? Did she go with them? The mortal? I don't believe so. Last I heard, she opened a gallery. Aphrodite's become her patron. Venus has painted most of the idols. I sat for her last week, in fact. It's made her rather successful. Good. All right, uh, what about Hermes? Is Hermes still around? I'm surprised they're not here with the rest of you. Well, we've barely seen them of late. Was I imagining things, or was that scoundrel starring in a commercial for footwear? <laughs> Branding. Hermes has been busy. They've become a social media darling, or so the Oracle tells me. Seems the about truly right. The amusing part is that they're not even trying to be famous. They simply can't help it. Hermes likes to people please, it's true. Hopefully it won't backfire on them. Fame is a double-edged sword. Hermes lives a charmed life. Never fear. Well, it's odd seeing their face on so many billboards, but I agree. Let Hermes have their fun. All right, what about Hecate and Asterion? What about Hecate and Asterion? Are they still at the reliquary? Hecate leave the reliquary? I'd sooner believe the sun would go out. It doesn't hurt that they seem enraptured with each other's company. If only he hadn't finally confessed to Hecate where some of her missing books went. Aw, <laughs> did you have to give back your precious trophies, Pan? Worse! She has me running errands. I'm searching for relics like some vagabond treasure hunter. Having fun, you mean? Well, that too. I must admit, fleeing from boulder traps is more thrilling than you'd imagine. All right, what about Medusa? And Medusa? I take it she's no longer at the reliquary. Medusa is with me at the moment. You did promise her my help. Oh, uh, how's that going? It was difficult at first. She confessed something about Artemis, which I had long suspected but could never prove. I was upset. I then realized it was more Athena's fault than Medusa's. So I recruited Athena to help work on removing the curse. And now? We're making more headway than I expected. If Athena had ever really tried, I suspect this could have been done long ago. We all knew it. None of us spoke up, though, did we? At any rate, she's excited by the possibility. She insisted on paying me back by, uh... <clears throat> by cleaning my house. The Oracle was thrilled. <laughs> Alright, what about you, Pan? What about Pan? I'd like to know Tell what's me. kept you busy, Pan. Oh, Made you know me. A... a little of this, a little of that. Pining after you, relentlessly. I'm not pining. Well, yes, I am. But I'm also busy. I'm producing an album of music, you see. You? You're going to cut an album? I'm not doing the singing myself, no, no. I I'm what's called a producer. I seek out talent and bring them into my new studio, you see. Just... Let them lie around and feel the creative juices flowing. Where did you get a studio? Not all of us immortals are broke, dear lad. Some of us managed our money, and I thought, uh, well, <laughs> um... He did it for you, Grace. I know you're busy saving us idols from the mortals, but I thought at some point you might like to return to your music. That is uncharacteristically thoughtful and romantic. I'm impressed. 
I can be a romantic, a rogue, and a hip satyr all at the same time. A true renaissance man, as they say. All right, and Apollo, what about, you, what about Apollo? you? Still planning on leaving the city? Not immediately. There's so much to wrap up here, and I want to ensure the Oracle will be fine on her own. You're not responsible for the child, Apollo. I believe I am. I need to be confident that both she and the idols won't suffer for my absence. And after that? I don't know. I was thinking of traveling for a time. Despite my age, there are so many places I haven't been. Poor, poor Apollo. Too much public attention, so it's time to flee to distant surfing shores. It is a bit disconcerting. The photographers following me around, the letters addressed to the sun god. I, I, I don't know what to do with it all. Even so, I'm not running away. I'll be back. I simply think it's time to see the world again with my own eyes. Hmm. All right, and you, Persephone? How about you, Persephone? Any big changes? Not yet, though I may be selling the club very soon. The underworld? Why? I don't need a substitute for the real thing. That's all it ever was, and I'm fine with having neither. That said, I've been itching for a change. I believe it's time to move on to something else. Do we get to know what that something else is? <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> I mean by to give you all my regards, such as they are. After this, you likely won't see me for quite some time. You will be missed, sister. More than you'll ever believe. All right. <sighs> I still can't believe it's all over. Oh, it's scarcely over, Grace. Now that you've toppled the castle, it's barely just begun. Oh? oh I didn't do that. Don't be modest. It deserved to be toppled. You did a fine job. What about Freddy? <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps we should leave you alone, Grace. You must be tired from your trip. Perhaps a round of drinks at the Underworld, in Calliope's honor. I'd like that, actually. Uh, if it's all the same to you both, Grace and I will be along shortly. Don't take too long, you two, or we'll start drinking without you. Alone, at last. I thought they'd never leave. I thought I'd seen everything. I thought who I was was all I could be. You know you changed the tune we've all been dancing to. Even this immortal satyr's gotta move when he sees you. And so I say, let's do it. Momentum's never bad. Who knows who we'll be when we reach the end of night? Life that is lived lies between black and white. I rarely do pairs, but with you, it feels right. You've thrown the board all pieces askew. Any plans I had pale next to you. What will you do now? Your life's in your hands. Is there more room for pain? I am a scoundrel, truth be told. I live my life with all of my soul. I'll apologize till we're made whole of oh, grace. It's my heart that you stole. Mm -hmm. Come take my hand, come take a chance. I don't do snow. Come, grace. killer.
<laughs> what a relief that nice. he wasn't the killer at all. Congratulations, GG, yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah, good game. Good game, good game, good game. <laughs> what do y'all think? What's your point of view about this role-playing musical? And Pumpkin Tiger, welcome back for 60 months. That's five years. Whoa, welcome back, Pumpkin Tiger. And I see Hazi Berham, welcome back for 20 months, saying amazing, amazing. It's You loved it. I actually screamed. So good, really loved it. Cast Left was top you tier. More. Mm -hmm. I definitely agree that the, t the cast is awesome. Yes. A fantastic group of actors. I love the music. Good work, Austin, on the score. Yeah. I know, Freddie, she was know. actually dead. She just kind of just stole, I, stole away. I felt like I still wanted her to not to be only mostly dead, you know? But no, she was No, dead. she was fully dead. Yeah, yeah. Fully and completely dead. Mm hmm. As a theater girl, you absolutely loved this. Yeah, it was definitely a very unique. Uh, I don't think I've ever played a game like this. Has anybody ever played a a, a game that incorporates music in this way? I, I don't. I can't. Well, think I don't of think any. so. I mean, an, I, I know some games with great music, but I don't know any games where we had control over the music, really. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. super cool. I I know that Austin has worked on other scores which are responsive to the player. So like in Journey, we are having influence on the music, but to change the whole score and stuff. Um, yeah, I, I enjoyed this game. I, I think that um, there's like a, there's a lot of a lot of different ways you can do a branching narrative. Mm -hmm. I think that the timed like most of those things were choices, but the ones that were timed were tied to the song and yeah. only like once or twice did we like pause the song <laughs> to come up with what choice we would do. Yeah. So to me, uh, I think it's very effective. I mean, I, I think the, uh, Amelia did most of the actual gameplay of it, uh -huh. uh, or almost all of it. Um, I noticed there were sometimes like where there's only one option left. I don't know why we need to choose the option, for instance. Like there's just some like little small things. Well, um, I personally like having more choices. So even if it didn't really matter, just the fact of like just I'm to making keep you this interactive. choice. Yeah, yeah. Because I feel like the more you can give players a chance to interact with the game, that's my favorite. Um, if it feels too much like I'm sitting and just watching a movie, then I feel like I'm just watching a movie. So I felt I, I yeah, that's I, I liked that little bit uh, mm -hmm. that it still had its control. Hey, robotic, robotic orchids. orchids! Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate you. your support. Thank you for the love. Thank you very much, friend. Thank you for hanging out with us. Who are your favorite characters? We met a whole bunch of cool characters and I liked that they were all like, you know, famous, well-known um, characters from Greek mythology. I thought that was really cool. Who who was, who was surprised you? Um, I think that the, the characters being such like strong silhouettes, they're all yeah. very different from each other. You could cosplay them really, like really recognizably, yeah. which I think is a great thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They were all, the character design was really, really cool. Um, I think my favorite was probably Asterian. Just I love the Asterian. He is my MVP too. I totally did not expect him to be so like sweet and a woo woo and cute. And I think that that was such a fun choice, um, especially because the character in mythology is like, you know, scary and killer. So I think that he was, he was one of my favorites. I've seen a lot of love for the art itself yeah, and all yeah. the, all the, uh, the characters and the color palettes for mm. all the different characters. I think Pan was also really cool because I was very suspect of him the entire time, but still liked him. You know, I thought he, he did a really good job of- uh, Very smooth, mm -hmm. buttery smooth. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, all the characters were really cool. Very, very different, very unique, which is great. Very immersive. <laughs> Look at this. This I think this is all the um, crowdfunding supporters for this game. Oh. Oh, cool. This is like a special thanks category to a ton of people. Look at this. Yeah. Takes a lot of people to make a video game, my it does, team. It does. It does. I like the character of Pan. <laughs> I like the way he speaks and how confident he seems all the time. So I'm curious if everybody, anybody else who played this game, did you have a different ending than we did? Because I know that there's many different choices we could have made that would have taken the story in a different direction. Um... What about what was your what was your ending? If you don't mind sharing, Puffles. What different was your, ending. Yeah. 
you ended up with Freddy. Fred up so Freddy. Freddy was alive. So we your... could have saved Freddy. You were oh. you were real hot and cold in Hades, babe. You were making not you were making a little of every choice. Yeah, I know. I was. I definitely didn't know what to do. I felt a little overwhelmed. That's you okay. ended up with Persephone. Ah. Oh, Freddy and Grace kiss. Ah. Oh, you can revive her. Ah. Oh. Um, you punched Athena? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, raise your hand if you punched Athena. Oh, man. So we could have revived Freddy. Well, that's good to know. I do I do want to shout out to Amelia that she, after the end of our last stream, she did call Athena. Yeah, I did. She did. And, and I said, you know, that would be... I don't want to ruin any other games, but you know what? There's that trustworthy one that's supposed to be responsible and taking care of everybody and then... They're behind it because they got they're in too deep, you know. We've seen we've seen a, a situation like this on our streams yeah. once or twice. I do believe Amelia well, knows. I was I'm pretty pretty proud of myself. Nicely done. Yeah, thanks Amelia for my good instincts. Good instincts. You know who I'm proud of? Mm -hmm. Eliza Friend. <gasps> yes, Eli Eliza. Eliza! Exclamation point. Eliza uh, collaborated with us on this mission successful sticker and in short order. So if you need some art commission and done quickly, uh, Eliza was very, very uh, on it yes. to create this mission successful sticker with and us. And I have to say, the little Theodora with the sunglasses is so... Cute. Yeah, Eliza sent us a couple different versions uh, of the sticker as we kind of workshopped it together, and Amelia was like, Theo with sunglasses has to stay. Yes. So, uh, shout out and much love to Eliza, and Eliza gifts three Whoa, really? of these stickers, yes! Eliza, thank you so much! So if you'd like to win one, just go ahead and type a thing in the chat. Oh, that's so sweet! Eliza will send their art to you. <laughs> Wherever you are in the world, well, we'll send Eliza's art to you for yeah. Eliza. Mm -hmm. um, but please feel free to type a thing in the chat and let us know that you are excited to have some love. Yes, <laughs> let's send this mission successful. Aw, uh, that's so let's sweet. Pull, let's pull three winners right now. Mm -hmm. All right, I got winner number one. If it's not Tony Spaghetti. Yo, Tony. Hey, Tony. Congratulations. <laughs> Enjoy your spaghetti. Enjoy your spaghetti, Tony. <laughs> Appreciate you being here. Uh, next up, it's Mike Gober. Mike Gober. Mike Gober. Congratulations. Congrats. You're winner number three. One, two. Two. Sorry. I mean, of three. Let's pull yeah. a third one. Shall we? Indeed. The song that's in my head right now. It's Mew Memento. Mew. Mew Memento. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Mew Memento. Beautiful. Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, All of our winners just got a whisper from us with instructions on how to claim your prize. Make sure that you send your full address so that we can successfully send your stickin', sticker. You're sticking. <laughs> We're going to stick it in the mail. We're going to stick it in the mail. You're sticking. And uh, yes, they're up here. Your whispers. Double check that you uh, have all your info correct before you hit enter. And I think if my mods are ready for it, okay, cool. Um, should we go show some love to Ilawan, who Juan uh, showed some of his community over here earlier, yeah. and they just completed Detroit Become Human. Oh, they did. Uh, so I think they're. It looks like they're. Let me double check. It looks like they're replaying a segment. Okay. Um, so it looks like maybe they're rewinding and going oh. back in time. So let's go show some love. Will you come with me? Yeah, let's do uh, it. Can we do a Connor Army raid and see if we can make some friends across the world? <laughs> I love it. Um, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, friends, for being here and for showing some love. All right, let's go. He's he's playing through the final chapters right now. Okay. Uh, looks like he's going to redo his ending. All right. He so, wasn't satisfied. Yeah. And it uh, looks like he's playing with a friend or a partner. So let's go show some love to them. And Amelia, um, what are we up to tomorrow? Tomorrow, we are going to finish Alan Wake. Alan Wake. Alan Wake Remastered is finishing tomorrow. We're going to play the final chapters. So come and join us for that at noon. And then... And then on Sunday, we're going to continue Uncharted Drake's Fortune. It's the first the first of the Uncharted series. And oh my goodness, we are having a good time playing it. On Tuesday, we're going to do our Good Mammal stream, talking about building our self-esteem. And then on Friday, next Friday, we're going to have a super special stream listening to our buddy Lo the Music Man's brand new album that just came out. He's going to be here with us. So 
So come and join us for some seriously good vibes. Seriously good vibes for all the people of the town. And if you won a prize on today's stream, please claim it today so we can give you the bonus sticker. Um, and uh, there will be a random past sticker coming your way. And if you would like um, to recommend a game, yeah, it's right exclamation here. Exclamation point games. Exclamation point games. We're going to go over on this raid and show some love, and we'll see you all tomorrow for more Alan Wake. Uh, it looks like what happened in, in this playthrough uh, is that Connor died, oh. and they're going back to replay the ending so Connor doesn't die. So let's go show up. Use all of your Detroit Become Human emotes that you've got, my friends. Let's go sh show some love to Juan's channel, all right? Um, my name is Brian. My name's Amelia. And this, this is, is our, our Twitch. Twitch. Thank you so much for all of your awesome support and moderators. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Lieutenants Mom. and Miss Okami. Miss Okami. Thank you for the Thank 10 gifted you. subs. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you got a gift sub for Miss Okami, please be sure to thank her and check out the starter kit. This starter kit will show you the way around the channel. And we'll see you tomorrow, uh, three and a half hours earlier than whatever time it is for you right now as we complete Alan Wake. Yes. It's a weekend full of mission successfuls, team. <laughs> Appreciate you all being here with us. The raid is queuing on up. Uh, let's get going and show some love in three, two, two one. Raid, 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 raid!